My eyes are puffy? The star of the world? finally over all the good stuff is waiting for you oh my god <laughs> whoop whoop that's the sound of the police huh, huh. that's the sound of the geese so you're really going to block the star of gold world just because i'm defending myself against people are you serious the star of Gore World. Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? Good to see you. Thank you guys so, so much for being here tonight. We have a lot to discuss. Like, a lot has gone on since the last time we were live discussing Chantal in real time. And there's a lot going on in Doherty Dozen World, okay? We're not going to get into the whole thing tonight. Let's just start with two minutes of Doherty Dozen, Okay. There's major developments going on in that house right now. The two um, kinship kids are out. They are out of the house. An entire ass drama has gone down between Lushy, the biological mother, CPS was involved, got the kids out of the house. Listen, it's one hell of a story, okay? We're not going to talk about that tonight because I had already um uh, what do you call like scheduled this live about chantal so i promise you tomorrow we are going to be live discussing doherty dozen we have videos to watch we have um dcp's video that we are going to be watching some of it together just for the tea the facts and we're going to discuss y'all uh, listen this is not clickbait this is not like she spent a bunch of money in a store and is spoiling them this is insane what has gone on okay so we are definitely going to talk about that that'll be tomorrow's stream for tonight we are taking a look at chantal's stream from last night uh she got real real nasty i heard i don't know i was sleeping <laughs> uh i heard her and her fake husband go real hard and they're being real dicks and i heard that salad has never been more of a bitch with his mouth. Um, I just want everybody to really understand who Patricia Thomas is because from now on, Robot Boy, Salad Boy is Patricia Thomas to me. And I'm going to be calling him Patricia Thomas a lot. So I just want to make sure everybody knows what I'm referencing. It is a reference from Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, when a certain man, Peter Thomas, in constantly insisted on involving himself in bitch drama. Okay, the way that Salad Boy was shooting off his bitch mouth last night, involving himself again in bitch drama, you are now the Patricia Thomas of this community, and I will refer to you as such every time you insist on putting your little brown nose into bitch drama. So, bitch, last night you Patricia thomas it. So, Patricia Thomas, I'm going to have lots of words for you and your fake bitch wife tonight. I'm already in a mood. Let me get the tab and let's get into this.
<laughs> Barack O. Bogman, Hannibal's choice cuts. <laughs> Chantal chicken video was very shocking. Hey baby, why is it shocking to kill a chicken? I'd like to know if you eat, do you eat chicken? Do you eat chicken? Yes or no? Okay, let's start right there. She brought it up, the chicken video. There's no fucking way we're watching that on this channel. I think it's understood. I want to be clear about something because I was talking mad shit on Twitter about this chicken slaughtering video. I am a meat eater. I am not so Bambi that I don't understand where the meat that I eat comes from. Nor am I afraid of where the meat that I eat come from. I'm a, I'm a grown ass woman and I understand the world. The problem that I had with the video that she put out yesterday was the timing of it all. Considering the topics that have been, you know, going around in our community for the past couple of weeks regarding animals and specifically the way that Chantal mistreats them. The last thing that I wanted to see from somebody who has now been outed as an animal abuser and neglector is a video of an animal being slaughtered. It doesn't have to do with the fact that, uh, oh, you eat meat, but you can't stand the truth. No, I can stand the truth. I don't want to see that kind of fucking content from her. The instinct is read the room, Chantal, but she has read the room. And so she chose to put that video out because she has fuck all going on right now on her channel and no way to make any coins. So now she's actually going to tap into the disgust that we have for her regarding the way that she treated her cats. And she's going to try to push that limit, <laughs> you know, shock us all and make a little coin off of it. That's how I feel about that. Julie, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Pretty D. I took the video down and then I put it back up because I'm like, I, I literally searched for killing chicken in um, the YouTube algorithm or the search bar. <clears throat> I have tea with like too much honey probably. I'm really sick actually. I have like some kind of flu or cold or that happened to me last time because of the, I, probably the airport or somebody germy or I don't know. Um, do you, does anyone eat chicken? Harry's okay. Um, it's not the killing of the chicken. It was how the video was put together in song choice. So what kind of song should I put? The funeral march from Chopin? Smug motherfucker. The way she brings her fat face to make those little smug looks at us. Which I mean is a Chopin. <laughs> you didn't have to add dramatic music to the, you know, animal being slaughtered. I don't know. You didn't have to put any music at all. And the music isn't the point. Again, the point is, I don't want to see an, uh, an animal abuser putting out a video of an animal being slaughtered. Yeah, I eat chicken. You eat chicken? I eat chicken. I eat chicken and I know where the chicken comes from. And I would watch a video like I'm not... I don't know. I, I, I can watch a video of it happening, right? The fact that you're the one who posted it up, you sick, psychotic witch. That's the problem that the community has with your video. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand how people are shocked over chicken when you eat chicken. Like, I'm eating one of these. Finger, oh, of puffy corn filled with cocoa cream. I don't hate. Love is so much better against either. No, that's why I hate this community because it's like people complain and clutch their pearls. Hi, Golden Gal, Gemini, Stan, Ramona, hello. Hi, night five. It was unexpected. Well, actually, it's because we were grocery shopping. We didn't finish everything because I'll tell you in a minute. <clears throat> and I was like, I need meat. The, the, the grocery stores have frozen meat, but they don't have like fresh so if you want like a fresh chicken, you have to go to a butcher, which guess what? If you eat meat, something gets killed. Okay. So if you can't see how your food gets sourced, maybe you shouldn't eat it. I mean, is Zach a vegetarian? If not, then he's the biggest hypocrite. Even vegetarians and vegans, like I hate these sanctimonious people who like judge others for what they do in life. Like, yeah, I went through a whole phase of veganism and everything like that, but like everything is in my past, right? So I'm a different person now. This is my beliefs now. And like, I love chicken. What can I say? I love chicken. I don't feel bad, but like, you know, I mean, I don't like animals to suffer, but I also, it's food, you know what I mean? So like, I don't understand the double standard or the like hypocrisy, like if you're going to eat chicken and if you're a vegetarian, vegan, good for you, good for you. People eat meat since the dawn of time. Don't even give me this, that they're eating couscous in the 1400s. It's not true. Neanderthals were killing animals and eating them. So if you were in the wild and you would get sick of eating leaves, you would kill a chicken. Don't even go there. Sick. Disgusting.
absolutely disgusting human being. Ugh, I'm sitting, I have a look of disgust on my face. The way this woman makes me sick. Woo. I'm sure everybody heard the YouTube uh, rules have changed as of yesterday again, kind of back to normal a little bit. I've really had to tone it down for the last few weeks on YouTube. We're back in business as of yesterday. This psychotic cunt, I swear to fucking God. Ooh, ooh, bitch. I'm so glad that karma is playing the long game with your fat ass. You have no fucking idea, Chantal. Really, instant karma, you would have been so fucking lucky in your life, but you're not lucky like that. You think you're fucking lucky. Oh, how come I don't have to pay consequences for my actions? Wait, motherfucker, wait. You will roast, roast like the fucking pig that you are. Wait for it. Beauty by Obi's are Syrian. Sweet. Oh, we have a video over shopping day today. Um. <laughs> Hello, Blacks. Sarah, Mary Poppins. Yeah, the Yelp users are cool. I don't count the haters as part of the community. Me neither. Angela, what made you put it up? <laughs> Honestly, like, just, I don't know. At first I was like, is it going to be too shocking? And then I looked up other videos and I posted on my community post a woman, like her video is way worse and she has like 36K likes. So I'm like, okay, so it can't be a bad thing. Like people eat chicken, people eat meat, you know? Yeah, keep stuffing it in your face. The video that she posted up of the woman who got all the views, that's kind of like her channel. It's not just randomly like mukbang, 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 here's a chicken getting slaughtered just randomly and then back to stuffing our face. You you, you know exactly what you're doing, Chantal. And saying right there about, oh, I thought about it. Is it too shocking? <laughs> I bet you did. You think about it. You were thinking about it and you were like, is it shocking enough? And you went, yeah. And you were like, yes. And you put it up because you're crazy. Suzanka, thank you for the super chat. It's not like you see his head cut off or anything. You don't see him cutting his head off or any blood. The other videos that have 2 million views, you see the blood and everything. Anyway, we have a fresh chicken quartered in the fridge. I'm going to make some kind of ch probably chicken kabsa or something. Or malatia. Not the Egyptian kind. I don't like the slimy kind. I like the... Molochea, whatever. Close enough, I suppose. You idiot. How much you want to bet that chicken ends up rotting and going in the garbage because she's not going to cook it? And instead, they'll just air fry some nuggies. I want to try the Syrian one. <laughs> I'll do a video on it. Anyway, I digress. So, I mean, really, in my opinion, like, Zach, your video is disgusting because it's judgmental on probably 95% of the world who kills animals to eat them. All right? So, clutch your pearls somewhere else. Like, you didn't have to watch my video. You didn't have to click on it and say, why watch something that clearly says graphic? How to slaughter a chick, how a chicken is slaughtered. Some people, it's educational. I've never, being from the Western world, I've never, even then, like people have farms that kill the chickens. Are you going to go villainize them for showing people? You're a fucking idiot. And me being from the Western world, you come from Cornwall, Ontario. There are still fucking farms. I'm pretty sure without knowing there's chicken farms and shit there too. You've never seen an animal get slaughtered before? I come from the big city and I've seen an animal be slaughtered before. How can that be? Oh, that's right. Because you never leave your fucking bedroom. Don't blame the Western world and the Western world. Girl, shut up. It's your inexperience with everything in life, okay? You didn't need to go to Kuwait to watch a chicken fucking badly. A sick looking chicken at that being slaughtered badly, okay? Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Thank you for the super chat, girl. And I'm not trying to be all uh, clutched pearls about it and stuff. Like I've said, and I'll say it again, I eat meat. I'm not a Bambi about it, where it comes from and what they have to do to the animals for us to eat that meat. My problem is with her specifically after the past couple of weeks and the cat stuff we went through. She knows damn right none of us want to see that shit from her. People, how they live. Like you really need to live outside of your box, get under from under your rock. And go experience life and touch grass, okay? People do. This dumbass who left a hostage-like situation in a bedroom that she couldn't rent in her own name in Orleans to go and be in a hostage-like situation in a shithole basement-looking-ass apartment with no windows, sitting on a couch, the second one because she broke the first one, is talking to us about getting out and touching grass and experiencing something in life and that we live under a rock? 
get your head out of your big ass, girl. Come on. You're the one living under a rock. I don't care what part of the world you're doing it in. You're still living under a rock. Do things differently in different parts of the world. People kill things to eat. Ooh, what a concept. Where have we become so pampered and spoiled that we judge people for killing chickens? Where? Where? Do you eat your, those chicken nuggets you eat? Those Who's judging people? And I'm not talking about, like, I'm sorry, the vegans who get all, like, uh, uppity about the meat thing. Really, though, who's judging people for killing animals for food? Nobody. We're judging you who wanted to kill a cat for no reason. That's the judgment. And that's why we don't like you. Okay? It doesn't have to do with the fucking chicken. You just have the audacity to put that shit up on your channel after what you've dragged us through with the cats. Cute little chicken nuggies from this, from McDonald's. That was a chicken being killed, probably even more horribly than the halal chicken you saw being killed today. Guaranteed. I actually think that more than a thousand chickens, or probably ten thousand chickens, are killed every second, and I'm villainized for it. Really? Uh, hey, Red Butt. Thank you for the super chat. Listen, I don't say that word very often, but now that we're allowed to again, I just thought I'd throw one out. You know, like a celebration. I put my video back up. If you don't like it, it says graphic. I warned you, don't watch it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't watch something and then go, oh no, it's so gross. A chicken is being killed. Oh, oh. No, you can't do that. Get a life. A complete hypocrite. Hi, Norma Jean. Loyalty Beezer. And here we are. <laughs> Beezer, and here we are. Whole ass. Oh, is that right? Winter Sun. How interesting. Thank you for the super chat. She admits she didn't go in to watch the slaughter. This is all about some perceived shock value. Also, it's like she has no clue. Canada has an entire industry based on halal slaughter. Imagine that, right? <laughs> but she has no idea what goes on in this country outside of her bedroom, that is. Um, that's really interesting that she wouldn't go in and watch it, but she did post it up and now she's acting all like, what, what? It's no big thing. You eat chicken? Chantal, you've eaten more chicken than any of us will eat in our entire lifetimes. You couldn't go in and watch the thing. Why would you post it up on your channel? Last year later, love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Radiation, please. For crying out loud, we eat chicken all the time. How do they think the grocery store end up with meat? Chickens get killed for food. Hi, Dream. Honestly, <clears throat> no, it's not like I get pleasure in watching the chickens be slaughtered. But, you know, like, I was like, wow. <laughs> when he drove up to the store, I'm like, what is this? And he's like, well, they, they're going to slaughter a chicken. And I was like, what? They're going to kill it. So I was like a little bit like, wow. I've never experienced that, right? Because I usually buy my chicken package at Loblaws, all nice and dandy. And... But no, this is like, you know, whatever. This is how you buy chicken here, I guess, you know? So they have all these little chicken shops with butchers who, um, yeah. I, I muted the, they were talking. That's why I put music and I didn't really know what to put. Like I don't have a limited, like I said, I could have put the funeral march, I guess, by Chopin, if that would have made you feel any better. Yeah, she's such an ass. So, Elephant flowers, thank you for the super chat. And, <laughs> you know, I'm putting us background music. You know, I, I'm very thankful for the chicken, for the meat we're gonna eat later. Yes, I am. So this is like corn pop. Babe, this is really good, babe. Babe, this is really good, babe. Two out of six words were babe in that sentence. Uh, fuck, man. Shove one of those corn things into my ear and keep going until I pass out. Please, thanks. Allison, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> the Andrew Falls of the... <laughs> exactly, Flavera. Babe, we have to show, can you come unlock the window? Okay, okay, wait, flop era. She just said flop era and it reminded me of something. We were live on Twitch earlier today and a theory was brought up in the chat. Okay, what do you guys think? Is it possible that flop era is EG? <gasps> you remember EG? You remember way back EG? Think about it. Think about it. You don't have to answer it right away. It took me about an hour of reflecting and I was like, hmm, wait interesting it's interesting yes just 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 think about it the kind of jokes they make the dry humor they have the way that they are the number one troll i i don't know zachary michael needs to go to war and stop commenting on women address it <laughs> eg was funny and flop era is also funny and sort of in the same way mimi <clears throat> i should have put the chicken dance in the background it's strange content for your channel well, yeah, but my channel's strange. I thought it would be a cool video. I don't know. 
Willow Tree, thank you for the super chat. Something I never experienced before. I didn't go in. <laughs> Why not? Why not? You have your butt hurt with nobody wanting to watch it. You didn't want to watch it. <laughs> but still, I was like, babe, can you please, please film this for me? I want to see. But I don't want to go in. Ninja <laughs> chat, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Did Neanderthals exist? Did they exist for real? We would eat the... Again, I've said this so many times. Cornwall, what the hell do you teach these children in school? How do you get to this big, big age and you don't know anything? What were they teaching you? How to pick corn? What's the matter with you? Uh, I have questions, Cornwall, about your education system specifically. What the fuck? chicken that my grandparents had when I was growing up. Mary Poppins, a lot of people, in particular, someone was like, that video is disgusting. Oh my, clutching their pearls like, excuse me? Like you're calling the majority of the world disgusting for killing chickens? Okay. It wasn't even that graph as graphic as some of the other killing chicken videos I've seen it. I mean, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of, wait. You know, I'm up now because of like Fajr and because it's so, well, it's morning here. It was a bit of a troll on your part to instigate their already false outright emotions regarding the felines. Ah, Katie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Stan, their emotions about the felines are, un they're not valid. They're not valid feelings because it's all made up on lies. They're all listening to false outrage from somebody who killed their own animals. And I never did, I never put BBJ down. Had I wish I put her down? Yes. If you see... All that that's revealed about her from the vet vets, which we never even seen an actual report of, just a Twitter tweet. Oh, excuse me. First of all, yes, they're the felines now. You know I'm going back and playing that one again. They're the felines now. Two weeks later, and she's still, what, by now, double, triple, I don't even know, quadrupling down on her desire to have euthanized the cat. Wow, based on what the vet's coming out with, the vet's just coming out with your neglect and animal abuse. The vet's also coming out with a nice plan that gives her a beautiful rest of her life in comfort, not in pain for the first time in God knows how long, being monitored and cared for the way she should have been. You're disgusting, Chantal. I just want to hear that one again. That was insane. Elephant flowers. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Monster indeed. How could you? Uh, you know what? Whew. It's one thing to have treated the cat that badly. Now the cat's out of your hands. You see everything that's going on with the cat. How about just shut the fuck up? Don't talk about BBJ anymore. She's not your cat. She's not your problem. She never was your problem, though. You didn't bother with her, did you? Um, and be silently thankful that some people are better at taking an, uh, care of animals and just have more empathy in general than you do, you sick, psychotic witch. Disgusting. BBJ looked totally relaxed sleeping on her cat tree. She was. She was. Now she's getting her treatments for the arthritis. They already seem to be working quite nicely because they gave her something with that first treatment. To, you know what I mean? So there'd be some kind of like um, almost immediate effect. She's She seems great, you know? We have another appointment on the 16th. Then we have another appointment on the, I forget, I think it's the second for the next uh, injection. There's nothing wrong with having to give a, a, a pill a day to an animal to let them thrive, let them be comfortable and let them enjoy the rest of their life. That seemingly is going to be the first time that they get to properly enjoy life without pain. How fucking sad is that? Trips the light. Thank you for the super chat girl your part to instigate their already false outrage emotions regarding the felines what but stan their emotions about the felines are un they're not valid they're not valid feelings because it's all made up on lies they're all listening to false outrage from somebody who killed their own animals and i never did i never put bbj down had i wish i put her down yes if you see all that that's revealed about her from the vet vets which we never even seen an actual report of just a twitter tweet She's 21 and she's got all these conditions, extreme arthritis. You're going to force her to, to go to the vet. You're going to drag her to the vet for clout. You're going to make her take pills for clout. You were all complicit in abusing BBJ further. Like. Oh, we're the animal abusers now. Not you. We're the animal abusers. 
no, no, no. We're just giving her a little bit of the life after the abuse that she lived knowing you. Go fuck yourself, Chantal. How dare you? You're so disgusting. Sitting there in a hijab right before Ramadan of all times, too. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, to the people who are always so mad that it seems like she doesn't have any consequences. First of all, there's plenty of physical consequences. Let's just be real, okay? And she's sitting with a robot who doesn't want her only for papers and will never know what real love feels like. So, I mean, there are consequences while she walks this earth, but it's almost better sometimes when there is no instant karma because that fucking long game, when karma plays a long game with you, ooh, I wouldn't want to be that person. Put it that way. <laughs> uh, lumps of sugar. Thank you for the super chat. That's it. So what I wanted to do was in my cat's best interest, and I should have, should have, should have, should have went with my gut instinct. Should have never, 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 never given her to a stranger ever. But whenever you be home, like Sam is fine. <clears throat> I'm very happy for Sam. Not for BBJ because look what she has to live with for, for the rest of her life and suffering. And what did what did FFG do? What did she do? She forced her dogs medications to try to to make cure them or whatever. Ended up having to euthanize them. So who's the one who euthanized any animals? Not me. And she's. Been oh, she finally said it right. She gave the dogs medication to try to cure them. That's the first time that she said it like that. And she said it like that by accident. But that's exactly what happened. Okay. Exactly what fucking happened there. And yeah, you end up having to euthanize them. One day I would have had to euthanize them anyway. You know, I, I, let's just be realistic. That's the cycle of life and the way things work. I don't know. I don't have any regrets for trying to move mountains to have more time with the dog. I, I don't have any regrets. The only thing I regret is that the last day he was in pain. That's the only, the only fucking thing I regret is that last day. Besides that, nothing. And I have no regrets taking care of your fucking ex-cat either, Chantel. Bloop. Just shut the hell up. Just shut the hell up. I know it fucking kills you. But inshallah, that cat outlives you. <laughs> Lunar flower child, thank you for the super chat, girl. I'm going to end up doing that with BBJ because that's what's going to have to happen. So really, all of this just to get one up on me and for clout. But you're not actually thinking of BBJ. No one cares about the cats. All they care about is making me look like a bad cat person. When I've had the cat for 21 years. So they make everything into a controversy or conspiracy. Exactly. Stop chicken shaming. That's why I follow, but I'm just saying. No, I know. Look, yeah, it's a shocking video, but I mean, why is it shocking? Let's think about it. Let's really think about this. It's a chicken being slaughtered when we literally eat chicken. You know, maybe we should be exposed to the, the harsh reality. You know what I mean? Hello. Of Maggie K, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you guys know what this is? Halva? Halva or whatever? Anyway, this one has pistachios. It's like sesame seed dessert. Oh, so good. Let me have a bite. <laughs> With my tea. So yeah, I'm not posting these videos to like offend anyone. Cavemen were strictly carnivores. Yeah. It just, uh, just sickens you in every way that a human being can sicken you. Doubling down again on the cats, talking about slaughtering of a chicken, and they go, "You get to what this is? It's hell of a like a," and gets ready to keep stuff in her face. It's just she's the only person who doesn't see what a fucking joke that she is. I'm vegan. Oh, really? <laughs> I couldn't watch it, but no. Hey, if you can't watch it, I understand that. Salah's in bed, night five. I'm in the bedroom. <laughs> Shakira's Jan Jar. Thank you for the super chat. And your name will always make me laugh. I love that. For Ramadan, we're going to be up so early because, like, once Fadger, once Fadger comes, you have to start fasting. But you can have, like, a pre-Fadger breakfast. So maybe 4.30, 4 in the morning, you get up, down a gallon of water. <laughs> no, that's just stupid. Neither one of you does fuck all in life. In theory, you don't have to sleep. You stay up and you eat before you go to sleep. And then you try and sleep in as long as you can during the day. You get all the heat part of the day done. You don't want to drink water because the intense heat of the day has passed. You don't have anything to do all day. There's nothing to wake up for. That is how it's done. Have something healthy for breakfast and then get ready for the day. 
And then when sundown hits, Iftar. Fake meat, of course. I'm not saying anything about the chicken being slaughtered, just saying the video was very unexpected. Did, I thought I'd, I told you guys about these slaughterhouses before, these chicken slaughterhouses uh, for consumers. And um, I always wanted to like, I always wanted to film one and see the process of how a chicken, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, she's not going to do it anyway. <laughs> even less so if she actually does that and then wakes up super early and now it's just like sunrise and she's already awake she'll break that fast within two hours we all know that come on rachel hey thank you for the super chat girl here it's done i'm just trying to give you part of the kuwait all of the kuwait experience you know <laughs> astro fat thank you for the super chat yeah so oh my god maybe you're right fresh dead chicken and greens is he a vegetarian or vegan? That's what, like, they're so judgmental. Like, okay, you, you not everyone has your beliefs. Not everyone has your way of thinking. You know what I mean? Like, how is it, how does it make someone a bad person for eating chicken? I don't understand. I don't think it makes someone a bad person to eat chicken. I love chicken. Mad respect to anyone who eats chicken. I just don't have respect for you, Chantal. It's not about the chicken. It's about the audacity of having the... Just the, the fupa balls and no sense at all to put up a video like that. Bonnie Girl, thank you for the super chat. Night, can't you see me? People do, do people don't understand how chickens are slaughtered. Maybe I should post our cow is getting butchered. Oh, what do you mean, Golden Girl? Do you have like a farm? I don't think he was a vegetarian or vegan. I know, right? Which again, Gamer Girl, thank you for the super chat. I know. Zachary Michael's version of traveling is getting drunk on White Claw and singing Shania Twain in Nashville. Ew. <laughs> what? I've seen an animal get slaughtered. Really? Hypocrite people need to touch the grass. <laughs> He's learning these things from me. I'm kidding. Kelly, thank you for the super chat. BBJ would have been so much better if given minor pain control and diet. Now it's more drastic because of stupidity and neglect. Yeah, completely agree. Had BBJ been doing regular blood tests, the kidney issue would have been discovered much earlier. All it takes is a switch to the kidney diet. Poof, it's done, right? Um, if the a UTI hadn't been left to fester for as long as it did, it wouldn't be so dramatic and involve the, the strong antibiotics that she's on. And a two-week like run of antibiotics would have been enough. We have to redo blood tests at the end of two weeks because they're not sure that it's enough. Because it's such a bad UTI that was just left to fester for so long. It's disgusting. It's neglectful. If her nails had been tended to properly, she wouldn't have been walking around arthritic and in pain on the bottom of her feet because of those nails growing into her feet. Can you imagine how uncomfortable it is to have arthritis? Again, nobody's giving you, had it been discovered ages ago, it wouldn't have been these shots yet. It would have just been the supplement. You add it to the food. It's nothing, you know? No, she has arthritis and is walking around trying to avoid pressing her little nails further into the pads of her feet. Tell us again, Chantal, how we're the ones who are animal abusers, you psychotic witch, animal abusing bitch. Babe, there's travel vlogs of people drinking human blood. It was a freaking chicken, right, Aisha? Like... I watched this guy, Doug Bernard, he like filmed the aftermath of a camel being slaughtered. Like people slaughter animals. Yeah, and you're mad that you didn't get to do that to your cat. Hanny, thank you for the super chat girl. It's not. I guess people are just surprised that I went from sitting on my kitchen chair, petting cats to traveling across the world and videoing slaughtering chickens. I don't know, but life changes, you know, <laughs> it's better. Oh, and just another thing. Oh, and another thing, what she said about Oh, all I've done is put up tweets about BBJ's condition. Wait, just wait. We're not even done the first round of all these tests and appointments and stuff yet. Wait, I'm keeping every fucking receipt that I have and their detailed receipt line by line. You can see detailed what is being paid for. And then once we've established a nice like file at the vet, you pay 50 bucks and you buy the file they literally transcribe you a copy of that file. I just figure what's the point now when it's like in the next two weeks, there's two more appointments. Wait, wait, it's coming. Anybody wants the bills? You don't have to wait. I have those here in the drawer. Chantal, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Not everybody is like you. Hold on. That truth, the truth, what you've done to the cat, 
It's coming, bitch. You know it is. That's why you cried and said the truth is going to come out. You know it is. To see where your food comes from. Yeah, like this is like completely halal chicken. Like I lowered the volume, but the guy said like, Bismillah, and then something about Allah sacrificing the chicken. And then, you know, it's, it's amazing how fast they do it. You know, just like getting it all together. And it looks like a chicken at the end of the day. Like you would buy it at a grocery store. I have it in my fridge and it's all clean cut, everything. Um, it's very affordable. Um, how much maybe did that whole chicken cost? Hey, baby mama. Hi, Ava. Tanya Lasagna, the rumors of animal cruelty are not founded. How many times? So, so why do I care? Why do I care? Why, why do I care what's in bad taste according to people who are judging me for false outrage reasons? Things that are not true. What? I don't care what they think. It's not animal cruelty to slaughter a chicken. <laughs> McDonald's. No, when they talk about your animal cruelty, they talk about what you did to your cats. Don't play so brand new. Okay. <laughs> Wait. And Martinez, thank you for the super chat, girl. Chicken is made up in a lab. I grew up in a hunting family. Like, animal control has been to my house so many times. Never anything wrong. Ironically, you know that guy who went to talk to her neighbors? That thing, uh, yeah. pff, uh, that was insane. In my opinion, the only thing that came from that was that one of the neighbors said that there, or, there was a lot of stickers left on their door by SPCA. So they came. These two losers just never answered the door. <laughs> but those SPCA stickers, that's proof enough that they were there. Baby Fry 666, thank you for the super chat girl. Well, they look nice. They look, your cats look fine. Yeah. I grew up in a hunting family. While I'm against any killing for sport, animals dying for food is a normal part of life. But personally, I thought it was interesting to see the halal process. Thank you, Hannibal. I thought that's what I did it for. I did it for people. I put that video up for people who are interested and curious about that. Just like I'm going to post any video about Kuwait. For Thank people. you, Rabbit Rabbit Sugar. I appreciate that. Watch it and then judge how people live here. You can't watch my videos when I'm trying to show you a different part of life. Judge how our apartment is in this part of the world. Judge how. Uh, food is made in this part of the world. It makes you look like a friggin' ignorant butthole, which- Disagree. <laughs> you idiot, you're experiencing the world outside of North America for the first time in your life. That's cute. Not everyone is, right? So taking us to the Middle East, taking us to one of the wealthiest countries in the world, uh, gaslighting us before you left that you've seen the place and it's really cute and stuff, you set up expectations. Some people have seen the Middle East before. Some people had a, a vision in their mind of what you might be going to. I didn't picture a windowless cell with some loser, huh? A one room nothing with a keyboard in it and a fucking air fryer. I don't think anyone pictured that. And that's not us being like, you know, like, a, I don't know, xenophobic to the fucking Kuwaiti people. That's us scratching our heads because what in the actual fuck did you go to? There's a world in between like... The picture of the Middle East that you painted when you told us that you've seen his place and what we saw when we actually saw his place. That is insane, Chantal. Hmm? It's not xenophobic at all. You lied as usual. <laughs> Rachel, thank you for the super chat. It's the same thing like when you told us how good looking Koki was. He was so hot and so good looking. And then the camera slipped during that fucking magic show. And poof, we saw the crackhead's teeth. And the jig was up. You just like to lie. You set yourself up for this, like, mockery, you know? Most That's why I hate this community. Because they're ignorant. You're all ignorant. A lot of you are ignorant when it comes to these things. And it's like, I'm the one who has to suffer through through this, this stuff. Like, of being accused of being horrible. Oh, she's vile because the chicken got slaughtered. Really? Well, don't come here then. Will you post more videos like that? No, I mean, I just wanted to post that video once, you know? Do you guys really want the hairy cam? <laughs> what makes halal? So halal, like, they bless the, the food. They point the animal the direction of Kaaba, and they bless the food in the name of God. And the way it's... 48-hour fiancé. FFG say BBJ's little toe beans. Thank you for the super chat. Slaughter. I should have put the chicken dance, yeah. <laughs> bon appetit, baby. Thank you. Oh, my God, I'm so behind. Can we see more beach and west chickens? Do you get your beef from the same guy? No, actually, we haven't gotten beef. <laughs> I'm squeaky from. I won't show a cow getting slaughtered. I don't know where we can buy beef here, baby. Hmm? 
Baby, baby, <clears throat> please, baby. Neanderthals exist. Chiming in. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Uh, just by the way, halva, for anyone who doesn't know, is extremely calorie dense food. What she's now just shoving in, bite, you know, size pieces into her mouth. Wow. Wow. You know, you have a little halva. You don't, you don't, oh my God. Anyway, bees and let bees, I suppose. Mm. But they all eat chicken. People will uproar over anything, right? Take a trip to a farm and see what happens there. Andre Marie, my dad slaughtered lambs in front of me when I was 10. I'm not a big fan of seeing it, but I'm not rich. <laughs> National Senorita, thank you for the super chat. That would be the chicken's revenge, wouldn't it? Yeah. A big mammal is, I understand it's hard to watch, but like people have become so sensitive, sensitive to things that, like it's just, we're so spoiled in the Western world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it. It, it. Go out and live in different countries and then you'll you'll learn, you'll learn. You know, it's different everywhere. You'll learn, you'll learn. She's gonna teach us, the world traveler. <laughs> I think maybe part of me was expecting some outrage, yeah. You know, obviously. Jesus Christ. But I'm like, for what? Like, do it. <laughs> what war? I don't understand the connection between another country's way of eating and your animal abuse. Yeah, it's animal abuse to kill a chicken. That's why it's futile to try to defend myself against this community, that, that community. They make me the center of it. They villainize me for every little thing I do. But it's not even me. It's like a whole other culture. It's like a whole other, like, do you think this guy is going to, slaughtering the chicken is going to care? People are going to go, ew, oh, you're disgusting. People are going to laugh right in your face. <laughs> I bet he laughed in yours. Melissa, thank you for the super chat, girl. That's so nice. Thank you, Gemini. Ready, shit, ready. I appreciate that, guys. <laughs> More than 90% of people. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm behind on the chat, but on my side chat, I'm not. Hold on. Nary yarn addiction. Good point. FFG. Maybe if she did it for education purposes and went in to talk about it and actually know how it's done, that would be different, but it wasn't. She did it because of BBJ. Exactly. It, well said. That's my whole point here. I'm not trying to act all like, oh my God, a chicken was slaughtered. Like, I'm a fucking meat eater. I, I don't mean it like that. And nobody try and twist my words here. It's the fact that she put up that kind of video to provoke everybody right after the thing, you know, with the cats has been going on. It was clearly done to get a reaction out of community and not at all because she wanted to show anyone about this, you know, the preparation of a chicken uh, or anything like that. It was just for shock value. And that's disgusting. It's not the same in my mind. All over the world with chicken. Yeah. Funny how FFG only wanted BBJ and not Sam. Right. Nobody, nobody, nobody questions any of these things, baby mama. Nobody questions them at all, without doubt. No, that's not true. I didn't just want BBJ. When I offered her the $3,000 and the NDA, she still had both of the cats. And when she gave away Sam is when I went in and I fucking deleted my offer to her. I was so mad the day that she just randomly gave away Sam. It was like, oh, fuck, it's over. And that is when I went and deleted the fucking offer from her on Instagram. I was like, fuck you, bitch. That it wasn't just about, oh, grabbing BBJ. Gladly would have rehomed the two cats. They would have both stuck together. I thought they were a bonded pair. After what happened in the summer to my bonded pair, I didn't want them to be split up like that, you know? She's such a dick. She has to change that story too. You're still the asshole, no matter how you try and warp that one. A snail that lurks. Thank you for the super chat. If it was me who brought BBJ to the vet, I'd need they'd need proof of all her health conditions. You know, like ridiculous. Would slaughter. That's because you're an animal abuser and a proven liar. Uh, I would say most people kind of like me or hate me, agree that I'm an absolute softy for animals and would do absolutely anything and move mountains if I could help one. So that's the difference between you and me. Stay butthurt about it, biatch. Cheryl, thank you for the super chat, girl. What are rabbits? <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. you are so behind on comments. Oh, shit. You have to catch okay, okay. Comments. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know. Babe, you want to unlock the window? <laughs> or later. I don't think he heard me. No one had to watch the video. You put a graphic content warning. Manager of three monsters. Thank you for the super chat. Vlog. Exactly. 
that chicken slaughter video is a thousand times more humane than what they're doing in North America. Unlike North America, it's not painful or unhealthy how they slaughter in Mideast. <clears throat> yeah, you know, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, for us not to make a whole video about it, like, I really, 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 really would like to know, like, normal people who don't have a hate vision, like, people who in that community are so blinded by their hate for me that anything is wrong. They're really willing to even just, like, disrespect entire cultures. Like, it's just ridiculous fuck off they're willing to like disrespect entire cultures no one's disrespecting an entire culture no one has respect for you no one's saying a word about any entire culture it's just you don't you love it she can't be the bad guy she's literally dragging in an entire culture nope not gonna work kbs thank you for the super chat i did they're so cute No one had to watch. I don't get why grown adults click on videos they don't want to watch. You literally said graphic. They're such hypocrites. Exactly. It was 2.5 kg. Oh, okay. 11 Canadian. That's pretty good. Yeah. You hunt for sport. Hi, Jessica PS. The ram in my profile picture I shot. But the guide suggested we not eat the meat, so I just got it taxidermy. Oh, really? I don't believe in hunting certain animals for sport. Like, I don't know, it depends if they're endangered and things. But if, you know, I guess if they're, I have people in my family who hunt too, but they eat the meat usually. Like if they catch something, they eat it. <clears throat> so, I mean, if you're going to eat it for food too, especially, you know, especially a chicken, it's a chicken. I don't know. I don't feel bad for chickens. They're dumb. I'm kidding. They're not dumb. They're cute. Like, especially. Whoa. That's the standard now? We don't feel bad about um, slaughtering things that are dumb? When's your turn at the butcher, ma'am? Hmm? You're the dumbest fuck I've ever known. You are Cornwall all the way to the center. When's your turn? Hmm? Where's your turn at the fucking butcher? When do you get fucking... When? Ricky Ticky Tally, thank you for the super chat. Actually baby chickens, but they're also very tasty. I'm actually hungry right now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to make chicken capsule with that fresh chicken. I'll let you guys know how fresh it is, like, compared. You can't get any more fresh than that. <laughs> like, instead of a frozen chicken, you know? Where do you think meat comes from? Right. $8 for a whole chicken? That's amazing. We get freaking chicken processed GMO chicken <laughs> for 15 bucks. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Yo, but... thank you for the super sticker, girl. I think video was interesting. People that live in the Western world would have no clue how their chicken is raised and slaughtered. Yeah, like I said, I always went to freaking independent or Loblaws or something. More lamb and chicken. Yeah, there's a lot of lamb. You see truckfuls of, like, in... in um, in Canada, you see a lot of, like, on the way to the airport, we saw truckfuls of, um, hold on, my boya. Oh, truckfuls of pigs. And here you see truckfuls of sheep. <laughs> so, me personally, I don't really like lamb. I have yet to really love it. I could eat it. I could eat it if it was cooked with a lot of spices and things, but I prefer beef and I prefer chicken. I love chicken. I love chicken and I love fish. You fake ass. You don't love fish. I'm guessing this guy loves fish. She always lies about loving fish when she's with someone who loves fish and yet never, ever eats fish when she's alone. <laughs> you have the worst palate. You love pig. It is what it is. The fact that you don't like lamb, it's like, what's wrong with you? I want to just shake you. Maybe unpopular opinion. I don't care. Lamb is the superior meat on this planet Earth. It is what it is. Anyone who doesn't like lamb has not had it prepared right. You can't let lamb cook in its own juices. Then it's got that weird fucking aftertaste and you can like smell it on you for days. It's ugh, it's like coming out of your pores. If you don't let that shit cook in its own juices, mwah, lamb is the best meat on earth. Keely, thank you for the super chat, girl. I know, Jessica, I know. <laughs> Maybe a part of me, I was like raging and I was really mad and I was just like fed up with like, I don't know. Honestly, I, I imagine like I've never experienced the dumb, dumbness of people. I, I saw one person criticizing me, commenting about how I want to make a grilled cheese. Like you have to make an entire live stream. And another thing, halal lamb, for no reason at all, I find even more delicious than the lamb like I grew up with. There is something about that halal lamb. It just doesn't have as much of a, a like an aftertaste. It's so fucking good. She, you know. She's just into Nashies. <laughs> you know what I mean about that? Like, 
So that's why I hate this, that that community. It's a shame. Oh my God, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. False outrage. And you speaking of false outrage, am I going to be a slaughter channel? No. <clears throat> Do you regret being vegan? I don't regret it, but I definitely don't feel that way now. If you're afraid to see this, just don't watch it. So simple, but they're desperate for content. Exactly. I like meat. I just can't watch how it's done and processed. <laughs> I think a lot of people are like that, Angela, but I don't think those people should be like condemning people for showing the process. I mean, this is what you're eating. Nobody's you know? condemning people for showing the process. People are only condemning you. Stop trying to lump yourself in with a group. There's no group. It's just you. You're the asshole. God, I hate that she always needs to do this. You're the bad guy. That's it. Point after you. You don't need a group. Nobody's giving shit to people who regularly show this kind of stuff on their channel. They're giving shit to you. Because you talk about euthanizing a cat in the same stream that you try and justify what you've put up on your channel. You knew people would be pissed. You do it on purpose. Rye M, thank you for the super chat. She will never be educated. She'll, she knows. This is the thing. That, uh, in my, This is not about educated. or whatever. She knows exactly what the fuck she's doing here. And she's done it very, very much on purpose. Calculated psychopathy. Finny, thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. We saw it. We watched it together. She's, uh, I mean, I'd like to say I'm surprised by what she said, but I'm not. She's nuts. It's like, that's why I went vegan at one point, because I couldn't stomach. I couldn't, you know, but then I thought, I don't know, like, I've seen some really bad slaughterhouse videos in um, North America. Kaylee, Would thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, okay. So beef is imported. Really, baby? I didn't know that. Okay, I gotta catch up. Oh my god. Hold on. Wait. I'm not that behind. Crack the whip. <laughs> Ask Sala a question and Sala slams the door. <laughs> Beatles, thank you for the super chat. I hope she does too. Window? She deserves it. Robbie K. Red. Emberlyn Reed made a post saying that FG was right. I don't care what she thinks. She's another one who has like no, she just, I, I don't even want to talk about her. Sala looking very handsome. Did she really? I, I don't watch Amber like that or even have notifications on anymore. I don't know if she really put that up on her community tab, but, or if they were just trying to piss her off either way. Yeah, it's fun. Some of these days, yeah. <coughs> of course he's handsome. Yes. He's so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Didn't she, she also went through some hot water with her pets as well. Like, didn't her ex-girlfriend punch a dog or something? I don't know. There was, like, all kinds of weird animal abuse allegations about her or whatever. Excuse me? You're talking about... Okay, okay. What about Koki kicking BBJ? We all remember that story, and that kind of just happened, what, a year and a half ago? And you still tried to stay with that fucking crackhead who didn't even want you, and he kicked your elderly cat. And by the way, she never took the cat to the vet to be checked after it got kicked. Eh? But now you're going to talk about someone else doing something to an animal? Fuck you, Chantal. Henny, thank you for the super chat. She just tries to suck up. She always sucks up to the haters. She always tries to get people on her side. It never works. So they don't have any content. They have to use your videos because it's like literally we're driving around. Like what is the, what, what, what's their drama there? Like what's to talk about? Like, and really malarkey around. meter, thank you for the super chat and the info. Different countries, there are 50,000 farms in Ontario. Gins, keep eating. We're patient. Ah. And then, like, I don't get it. It's like, what's the big deal? But that's the thing. It's like, these people will say my content is so boring. But it's like, that's your whole world is my content. Like, do you not see that or what? <clears throat> Yeah, Diego. Oh, I didn't uh, lose me, Supreme. Thank you for the super chat and saying that. That's so kind of you. Thanks for being here. That's it. We need more vlog content. There's no vlog content. More implies there ever was any. I have no vlog content. Actually, tomorrow I'll be in an interesting place. I'm not telling you where I'm going yet. Oh, oh, it's a cliffhanger, but trust and believe. <clears throat> Keep your eyes on the community tab and Twitter and shit tomorrow, okay? Um, There may be a little driving around and Maybe a little vlogging, maybe a little conversation. That's all I'm going to say for now. I unsubscribed from her whenever she became an idiot and went in Chef Natter's chat to try to suck up to my abuser. Ew. 
like get a life. And then I started seeing that people were right about her too. I was like, ew, okay, why did I ever watch you? Did I freeze the chicken? No, because I'm probably gonna cook it today. If I don't cook it today, I will definitely have to freeze it, yeah. But even if it's like, it's still- You moron, you took the time to go and watch a chicken get slaughtered to get that fresh, fresh meat and you're gonna put it in the freezer. That barnack, you make me so mad. Leanda, thank you for the super chat, agreed. Just freshly frozen. Flamingo, what flamingo slaughter? Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, blue girl, blue eye girl. It's a tradition in my family to kill goat for first birthdays. We put buy it, put it down, and prepare it ourselves. See, TV, and how would you feel if this family tradition of yours was crapped all over by people on the internet clutching their pearls and talking about it? They have not something they know nothing about. Saren, thank you like, for the super chat. Because she can't speak, our English major never learned English properly. <laughs> Thoughts with mint jelly. Hmm. Give me a break. <laughs> You're craving some chicken tenders with a side of sheep. Mm, chicken tenders. Who was it? Was it Mary Poppins? Somebody told me to get, try raising canes. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make my own tenders. I'm going to be cooking because there's, well, I bought a whole bunch. We got like a whole bunch of cooking stuff today. And then like, uh, what else did we get? Well, I have a, a stove now. Oven and stove. So. Does she know? No, right? Oh, that was the wrong Farida, really? No, it wasn't. Raven Autry, thank you for the super chat. That's so cute. Sick, sick, sick. You know it's her. You know it. Can we make fresh Harry? <laughs> basic, basic. The mass slaughterhouses are terrible. They are. Hi, Rebe. You didn't watch, though? No, you guys don't have to watch, but, like, I understand that, you know? You always raise your own, Raylene. I'll pass on the chemicals. Oh, this is so yeah, dry. Can I skip ahead a little? Own chickens, I think, is the way to go, honestly, nowadays, if you're going to eat meat, like, I don't know. So it's like thank you for the super chat, girl. But you have to be desensitized in a way to the stuff like this, I guess, in a little bit. It is shocking because, yeah, good question. I left that community due to the slaughter. I'm a vegan. My dogs eat meat. I can't let them starve. Yeah. Doing it on a I'm grander sick scale. to death. I like, swear to God, I'm sick to death of hearing about this fucking slaughtering of the animals and shit, okay? I'm skipping through all the slaughter talk. We've given our opinions. We've discussed it. Fuck this shit. She has no content. She did it on purpose, and that's why she'll keep harping on it. Lori, thank you for the super chat, girl. Like you're majorly bullying her. You're you're wanting them to have their business taken down and everything over over what? Over a, an alleged little internet beef? Give me a break. This cancel culture, I just I can't stand it. I can't. Is thank you again safe? so much, Cheryl. Oh, I thought it was how the video was put together. Gerard Cosmetics called Karina ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is Gerard Cosmetics still a thing? Thank you, Catherine. I know, I know, I, I know. I just if I ignore these people for like a month, but then I get like, really? You can't ignore anyone though for a day, because you have nothing else to talk about. If there was no uh, chicken slaughtering video and no FFG to talk about yesterday, what would this whole video have been? Fuck all. You have fuck all. You would have sat there stuffing your face with nothing to say. Womp womp. Angel wings. Thank you for the super sticker, girl. I'm like, I'm driving around in a car. <laughs> There's literally nothing to comment on. And people will go on a three hour rant, you know? Watch my grandma twist the neck and snap it and dunk the chicken in boiling water and then pluck the feathers. <laughs> yeah. You know, are you up early? No, we're up early. Roger is like early, early morning. Hey, Stephen Pondu. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy first. And be in FFGs. Who knows? This person is sadistic. They're willing to do all these disgusting things. You don't know if she pinches BBJ when. Wait, 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 wait. I've skipped too far. Hold on. I got her 2004 at the shelter. She was, her name was Jewel and she was one to two years old. Honestly, I don't feel safe with her being in, in FFGs. Who knows? This person is sadistic. They're willing to do all these disgusting things. You don't know if she pinches BBJ when, like, you don't know what she does to BBJ behind the scenes. You don't know. The fuck are you talking about? You don't know if she pinches BBJ behind the scenes? The fuck? Where? Is that a thing? Is cat, pinching cats like a thing or something? Or is that as random to everyone else as it is to me? I don't get it. Why would I pinch a cat? Projecting? She pinches cats? It's not a thing? No, she's just crazy. Okay, I thought that was maybe a thing. 
What the hell are you talking about? You don't feel safe with BBJ being with me. Number one, again, she's not with me. And number two, even if she was, which she's not, BBJ would be much safer with me because I don't actively want to murder her. So, you know, there's that. But no, BBJ is in a great, peaceful, calm home where she will live out the rest of her days in like a cat care facility. <laughs> Call it that. All I'm doing is paying the bills, bitch. And it's my pleasure. Wait till I get a little dossier, asshole. <laughs> Pharaoh girl, thank you for the super chat. No, she's a sadistic weirdo. And I just don't trust it. So I feel like I let her down by by doing that. Had I known she had anything to do with FFG, never, never. Had I known FFG was in the snowbank, I would have been exercising certain rights I have to protect myself. That's all I got to say. That's why she... You have uh, rights to protect yourself randomly on a street behind a snowbank? I would have loved to see you fucking try me, bitch. I swear to God. I mean that from the bottom of my cold, dead heart. <laughs> Come and find me. <laughs> Come and find me behind any fucking snowbank, bitch, and try me. <laughs> She's a coward. If you're such a, if you're so, if you're so big and bad and gangsta, why didn't you make yourself shown? Hmm? Yeah. Because I'm not a fucking idiot and I wanted to get that cat, you stupid ass. If it wasn't for the cat, I could have made myself shown. You're still mad. I played you good, good. Stay mad, baby. Anyway, so obvious, yeah. Haley is a mean girl. I don't give a fuck about her. Oh, or wait, is she just butt hurt? Because if she was hiding behind a snowbank, we could have seen her on both sides of the snowbank. Because a snowbank can't hide her fat ass. Maybe. Stay mad, baby. Feelings. No, but I, it's the point, though. Like whether you like that's that's the point. Exactly the point. People don't like Haley for whatever reason. So they're bringing all of this into it when it has nothing to do with the beef between her and Selena. There's not even any beef. Didn't they both say publicly that there's nothing going on? And people are just really blowing it out of proportion, like trying to ruin Kylie's what? business. She's talking about fucking Haley Bieber now? What is this? More of it on TikTok. I'm going to lose my mind. <clears throat> they're dragging Haley so bad. I don't. Hi, Rhonda. Hilaria Baldwin faking being Spanish. What? Hey, Pixie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. And her Haley equals Dee Dee. Selena equals Chantal. Kylie equals me. <laughs> I'm Selena. Oh, no, I, I completely, if people are body shaming Selena, I find that disgusting. Absolutely. She's not even fat. I hate this Hollywood mentality that you have to have your, your hip bones sticking out to be hot. I'm sorry. She looks good with meat. Are you kidding? Ugh. Anyway, people are just bros. Honestly, this is why the only constant in life that will never let you down is God. Seriously, God will never judge you. Well, send you to hell but you might deserve it <laughs> remember that chantal <laughs> cackles like a witch <laughs> remember that you're you're already sweating under that fucking abaya and it's 21 degrees imagine how hot it's gonna be next to that open flame Ooh, can't wait wiccan mom thank you for the super chat girl uh yeah it definitely is <laughs> No, seriously. I mean, it's 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 just, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I feel weird. I can't look at FFG's face directly. I wanted to watch him to puke. <laughs> yes, babe. I know. I mean, it's just feeding children. Oh, babe, babe can't look at my face directly because babe gets the envie de puke. Uh, I forget how you say that in English. He just said it. Wow. I'm high. Please forgive me. He gets the 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 desire to puke. When he sees my face, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Maybe I'll turn the camera back on just because I know that now, salad boy. You fucking Patricia Thomas looking ass bitch. Okay. But, but I hope it makes you sick. Both by claiming she's faking a boyfriend. It shows that is what you mainly value in life. Oh, goodbye, world of hope. Where's her boyfriend then? Oh, for the love of God. Am I behind? Emotional support, Muffin. Thank you for the super sticker. World of hope. Hmm. Hi, Halloween girl. Uh, where's my thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> where's my thumbnail? FFG the vile, she don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Everybody know that. Smokey ass. Smokey ass. Hi, Halloween. And that 
is why he is Patricia Thomas to me. You fucking man, bitch. <laughs> smoky ass. Yeah, smoky ass. You jealous? Are you jealous because I, I can just openly smoke and live my fucking life and talk mad shit and I have citizenship in the country that I reside in? Oh, <laughs> and I don't have to fake romance a land whale to get it. Ooh! <laughs> I would hate me too, Patricia Thomas, you bitch. Again, have I mentioned how happy I am that YouTube changed the fucking rules back? Go YouTube, please never change again. That was some bullshit girl no it's true like where's her boyfriend like the only reason this is a flex for me is because this moron sits on panel sits on her channel and makes content out of it makes content makes forty thousand views off of claiming my marriage is fake when her literal boy you jealous there she just said it makes a literally forty thousand views a jealous jealous it is what it is you're fucking jealous not my problem <laughs> maybe people aren't into your fucking kuwait hijab arc i don't know what to tell you you gotta learn to throw a little spice on the fucking content but you can't you blam like mashed potatoes that's your problem girl don't be mad at my spice okay west coast girl thank you for the super chat boyfriend like here's sala in the flesh in the flesh she literally invents her boyfriend so yes, I'm gonna going to point that out. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. How about Pete's doxing his own number? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think uh I don't know what to say about that. Ninja Cat, thank you again for the super chat. If anyone cares about you. Anyway, cares about that loser. And now you're gonna sit there and say I smelled now when you met me? Really? After you already said I smell so good? Please. I didn't say you smelled so good. You're the one who changes the narrative about what I smell like. You said I smelled like gain detergent. Hmm? Then it became cigarettes and gain detergent. Then it became machine shop cigarettes and gain detergent. All right, by the way. But you're the one who kept changing the story. I said it from the beginning. You smelled like sweat and perfume from the 90s, which after discussion, I decided was definitely Clinique Happy. It's not a good smell. If you thought that meant you smelled good, that's on you, bitch. Pete's is the one who smelled, who said that you smelled like blue cheese. Pete's, your roommate is the one, not me. Please. What time is it there? Do you guys sleep on a different time schedule since you're getting used to? I, I feel like the, the getting, hi, Anna G, getting adjusted to the different time has made me get sick. Like I was in the store shopping. And all the oh yeah, M. Martinez, thank you for the super chat. I, we all love the lamb. What? <laughs> on hits, I won't be able to rage. I shouldn't be raging, but whatever. I'm a new Muslim and this kind of thing takes a long time. You don't just change your personality overnight and I'm very impulsive and I anger very easily. I just, ugh. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so blacks um, are fragile. We try to like get up for Fajr. If I don't get up for Fajr, I just make up the rockets, like the two rockets from Fajr, but you should be getting up for Fajr. Hell so yeah, Cloud to... Goblins, Willing Minion. Thank you for the super chat. That's why we're awake right now. I have a long day. I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm supposed to be working on content and it's just like, this is why live streams are so much easier. If you have something to say, this is, I'm a very instant gratification kind of person and it really just bites me in the butt all the time. I never learn. And I could really take the time and just do like normal content. But when I have something to say or something, I just impulsive and want to go live and say it. I don't want to have to worry about editing. I don't want to have to worry about, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, we know what you mean. You're lazy. You're lazy and you don't do anything. So it's much easier to sit there, do the one thing that you do all day, eat. And just flick on the live stream. We get it. It's easy. But when you say things like, I'm supposed to be working on my content today, the rest of us all look at each other and go, the fuck is she talking about? What content? It doesn't take much planning to sit there and open a snack cake, you know? Or seven. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Matt Zachary, Michael thinks hair dye gives him a personality. I think I could rough it for a while. Oh, I'm so behind. Hold on. I've been neglecting my man to talk on YouTube lives. <laughs> I know. You ever notice there's like the whole community, that's why I hate the community too. <laughs> they all complain about my content, but they don't, they use, they use me. They use my content because if you look. They use me, they use my content. No, we keep you relevant now more than ever. Every When you're in Kuwait and it's boring as fuck, you need to acknowledge that we keep you relevant. 
even this, these boring ass streams, the whole, everything, the scandal with the chicken video and stuff, it's because of the reaction channel. So just say thank you and shut your face. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. That's a great point. Thank you for the super chat. How is she still unaware? 94% of food in Kuwait is imported. Ontario has tons of agriculture and farming. Kuwait does not because she knows nothing about her own country. Nothing at all. She just knows how to regurgitate the dumb shit that people put in her head and in her mouth and stuff. Canada is so blessed when it comes to food. The the like just like the variety of shit that we grow in this country from one coast to the other is it's it could blow your mind. You know what I mean? Vast uh, wealth here when it comes to like lush land that grows shit. She doesn't know anything about it. To say things so stupid as the like last time she was in Kuwait about the vegetables being fresher in Kuwait when it's summertime here, <laughs> you know, in Canada, we grow fucking everything. We grow it beautifully. It's actually grown here. It's actually fresh. It's not imported from somewhere else. She knows nothing about anything. And she's too lazy to go to places like farmer's markets, things like that. All she knows how to do is order her fucking groceries from Walmart. You know what I mean? She doesn't know anything about this place. Look, some people go live two to three hours talking about my latest vlog. Then another person has a live schedule will go live talking about my... There's about at least like 10 reactors every single day using my my boring measly vlogs for content for three hours at a time. Like, it's ridiculous. All day, people are live streaming about me. Hot Mess Express, thank you for the super chat. You're right. <laughs> because I'm here and talk about goodness. I know you both are going to be so happy to chat about anything else. Yeah. We did sleep a lot. I'm so behind. I'll catch up, guys. Hey, Crispy, what are your goals for the next year? I just want to try to get all your questions and comments. That's why I'm so behind, babe. <laughs> I want to try to, like, ca like catch everyone's questions and comments and things. You look, what? You look handsome. Well, thank you, baby. <laughs> I just want to catch everyone's comments and questions, so sometimes I get behind. Catch up on mayonnaise. Catch okay. up. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be making homemade mayonnaise. Oh, nice. Yeah, because we got a... Salah went to... Uh, his old job and got a, a blender and blender system for me so I can make lentils. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you notice how she said his name differently there? Slaw. He's like training her how to say his name, but he hasn't yet taught her. Ham <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> the priority is slaw. <laughs> All right. So he's not salad. He's slaw now. Same shit. Potato, potato. I don't give a book. Pure Lock Holmes. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here soup and my kid because with ramadan we're going to be cooking i'm going to be cooking a lot so that's going to be a lot of like nice so, uh, did you bear my thumbnail or not yet did you bear my thumbnail not yet, not yet. <laughs> like i think that's really fucking weird put yourself in that position okay your now fake new husband is making jokes referencing your alleged abuser He's joking about the where's my thumbnail thing to the alleged victim of that person's abuse. That is the weirdest fucking joke. And, you know, just like so many other incidents that have happened, just leads me to believe that there was not very much TV actually going on there. And she's nowhere near the victim that she likes to portray herself to be. Amy E., thank you for the super chat, girl. Uh. You did that too well. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hey, Beezers. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Want to say hi? Wanna... The blue window uh, reveal will be in the next video. Really? Sorry, in the next live. In the next live? Hello, well, Rebecca. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the next year. It's suspense. Oh, it's suspense. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We'll do it like David Lynch style. No, we should make a David Lynch style documentary on the blue window. <laughs> yeah. Flop era. I always think of you with that. Fucking salad back there laughing. Oh, salad, you thought that was a great joke? Great. Who's David Lynch? Uh, uh. And the robot's head just fucking explo explodes because they haven't programmed him with that information. Idiot. Who, me? Thank you for the super chat. Oh, mistress, so I'll change your content to re re reacting channel over these reaction channels and let's see how they feel. I was thinking of doing that, like making a separate channel, just reacting to everything. But I don't know. Like I'm conflicted because like, I know that like people always need someone to target and to talk about and I'm not I'm not immune to it because like everybody who's a public figure gets that but like it's just ridiculous some of it you know like I don't know. Uh, said, we love you Salah, 
Rad Plaid, thank you so much for the nice super chat. I appreciate that. And this is a great point. She's just mad that she can't value herself without being attached to a man. Her entire existence is that one, like, is the thing I loathe. Here's uh, so-and-so, the wife of NFL star, whoever. A woman is more than her relationship status. We are independent, happy. You're absolutely right. Um, to me, it's a very young mentality. You know what I mean? I was like that where it, like the only thing that mattered is like your relationship and the guy and what car the guy drives and blah, blah, blah. When I was in my early twenties, I was a shallow asshole prick, just like that. I really was. But then you level up, you grow up, you go through experiences with these schmucks and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, schmucks. Um, <clears throat> You go through relationships with these people <laughs> and you just, I don't know. Part of the beauty of having these experiences is realizing as time goes on, what actually is important, how, I don't know how easy it is to just have someone in your life. I'm sorry to trivialize it, but I guess as someone who hasn't really been alone much in their life, I do fucking trivialize it. It's real easy to have a rando person in your life. It's so easy to have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever. It's, it's not a thing if you've consistently had one, I don't know. It's just, it's not the same at the end of your thirties as it is in your early twenties. Do I care about having a mate? Yeah, like, sure, of course. You know, it's human nature to not want to be alone. Do you realize though at a certain age that there's so much more important or at least as important? You do. Chantal hasn't because she has nothing in her life and she's never had those experiences with men, let's say. So she's never gotten past leveling up at 21 years old. The only thing that matters to this woman is having a man who will claim her and wearing a ring on her finger. That literally was me at 21. I would have gotten married at 21. I was oh, just so stupid. The priority, your, your ass is in the place of your head. Everything is stupid when you're in your 20s. It is what it is, you know? At this age, eh, who the fuck cares? You know, I don't. Eyebrow man, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your eyebrow is unique. And another thing, to be totally honest, at my age, 38 years old, if somebody asked me like, okay, describe you, the first thing I would say would have nothing to do with the relationship. It would have to do with what I do in life, my profession, how I, you know what I mean? I, uh, that comes much more naturally to me, let's say at this age, than like, well, my man, blah, 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 or I'm this person's wife or like, I, I don't know. Any seal can clap. I don't find it impressive. Veronica Lodge, welcome to Grand Prime Beach. Right? Should be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe FFG is S jam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, any of you in here could be FFG. You know, like any of you could be my haters as disguise. I don't know who you people are. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. Not Salah imitating that third, yes. Sharon said the beautiful beard, man. Thank you. <laughs> you want to show them your handsome face? Look here. <laughs> oh, Luna, that's so funny. Thank you for the super chat. I feel the hatred through the impression. Mm -hmm. Only the I wear, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, here we go. Hi guys. <laughs> Ich. I love your hair's getting long. Mm. Wow. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lula, yes. Mine too is getting long, eh? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> it's working very well. Yeah. yeah. You guys should try collagen and hair vitamins. Oh, what's that? What's that? A little shade? A little a little subtle shade? Mm -hmm. Shade with a white glove on, let's call it. She says that her hair is getting long and he goes, yeah, alhamdulillah. Oh, I guess he doesn't like the baby bird bald look. Interesting. Okay, I'm so behind, babe. So behind. Really? You have to catch up the comments. Oh, I'm not that behind. Okay, I can go back. A little bit. Only, only five minutes behind. Only. Random five name. Thank the... you for the super sticker. <laughs> Everyone thought it was weird that Salah had his dad taken to the hospital, but he was having surgery on his foot. Someone would drive. And Chantal doesn't drive there. Yeah, exactly. Like. I don't know. It's just not something I, you know, <laughs> who cares if he wants to go with his dad? His phone went flying across the room. Yeah. That's one thing I guess I'll have to watch because of the people he lives with now. Might not be appreciative of the rages. <clears throat> but I find it 
wrong for people to purposely trigger people they know have like emotional issues or who have antisocial behavior or I don't know. You know. No, no. Again, stop trying to blame the audience. If Pete's can't hang, he can get the fuck off the internet and go back to work. You're the idiot who knew all about your friend and his antisocial behavior and blah, 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 and encouraged him to leave his job and get, make a YouTube channel. Don't try and put it on the audience now. Ugh, I just saw someone in the chat ask, what does Hamdullah mean? It means like, thank God. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. Foodie Beauty doesn't realize she's background noise, right? Right? We consider it background noise. She's like, oh my God, and they're stealing my content and blah, 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 blah. Earlier on Twitch, we literally talked about Doherty Dozen right over a playing Chantal video. Background noise. No one cares. You know what I mean? Hi, Golden Girl. Hi. Yeah, Ava. <laughs> exactly. Elizabeth, oh, shit. Finally, Salah is here. <laughs> Katie, thank you for the super chat. Babe. Yes, babe. Can you give me a bottle of water, babe? One or two. Just one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So cute. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. There's such a, like, lack of just anything between them. Even that, like, cute. It makes me cringe so hard. It's so fake. Thank you, honey. You're handsome. Chantal's eyes look. <laughs> you guys are so bad in the Western world. Okay. Exactly. Oh, Lunar it's bun. It's her fault. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> no, it's so easy. It's so easy to make homemade mayo. Yummy. I want to make a chicken sandwich with mayo. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm making mayo tonight. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. I love it. Hey, at least we have a solid full size fridge. <laughs> right, guys. That's not a flex, ma'am. Wherever you are, a full sized fridge shall be. Hmm? Government issued falafel. Thank you for the super chat. He blames everyone else for his life sucking. Yeah, that's one thing you can't do is blame other people for your problems. I mean, for sure, you know. I fully, uh, fully, fully, fully am aware that I've messed up my own life. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and I'm trying to change it. And that's, I guess, what's disheartening sometimes and just gets on my nerves is, like, I have to stop waiting for, like, people's, like, approval. Oh, okay, I will, Shannon. Crap about me. It's just never going to happen. The more it affects me, the more it makes people happy. If that's not totally pathological as human beings, I don't know what is. Okay, <laughs> Jen and I just saw your message. Okay, so now I can let the cat out of the bag. Hold on, what happened to my side chat? That back neck. All right, so uh, tomorrow when I was being mysterious and being like, oh, where am I going tomorrow? Oh, I have to go on a drive tomorrow. Oh, maybe we'll go driving around and chat tomorrow. I'm going to Shannon's. <laughs> But uh, I hadn't gotten the okay yet from Shannon about like, should we tell everybody? So Shannon, would you mind putting the link to your channel in the chat and I'll pin it? Uh, everybody, if you're not already, go and sub to Shannon and like have your notifications on because we're going to be going live tomorrow uh, from Court, directly from Court with Shannon on Shannon's channel. And last time, you remember what happened when that happened. So inshallah, we have a good day tomorrow in Court. I will be, of course, driving the uh, Google DeLorean back in time tomorrow in Cornwall, getting more pictures of stoops with pumpkins on them in early November. So, I mean, everybody knows what I do when I go to the court. Hmm? Mark, thank you for the super chat. Where's my ready, set, bees? Ready, set, bees. <laughs> hey, hey, Veronica. Blue window bees, inshallah. <laughs> yes, you guys are gonna freak out. There's a surprise in there for you. Specifically for flop era, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we love Salah the eyebrow man. Right, we said the bees. No, most of us are in here when FFG's live. Yeah, I have beezers who will always, you know, well, I can say uh, there are some people I thought would always be here who aren't. So Oops. thanks for joining us, babe. Okay. Enjoy. But, you know, good point. Marvin, thank you for the super chat. If you respect Kuwaiti culture so much, why are uh, do you curse and talk about people online in their country? It's frowned upon. You're a visitor. Show some respect. That's right. Behave the way the Kuwaitis behave. 
have a little respect. Hmm? It's it's disrespectful to the entire country, the entire culture, Chantal. <laughs> well said, Marvin. The party, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, guys, what's up? <laughs> You're the life of the party. My cutie, I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, yeah. you miss me in there? <laughs> yeah. Any of us can be FFG. But you guys know what I mean. Like, um, or not just her, but could be anybody. Kiss. <laughs> we can't kiss. Thank you, Breezes. We are happy. No, I do feel a lot at peace. The only thing that's really bringing me grief right now, I'm even dealing with. Ah, uh, I'm sorry for all these quick pauses, but y'all are making really good points in these super chats. Adrian, thank you so much for the super chat. FFG, she said it was gross and feminine that a man garlic bread, gossiped about girl world, and it's so unattractive, but salad does it the most. That's right. Patricia Thomas, the robot, does do it the most. And isn't it amazing? He's going to go on a fucking tirade about me in this stream. Now he's sitting there. This was the scene that I saw him sitting there talking mad shit about my looks and shit. Like a fucking bitch. Salad, you robot, stay out of bitch drama. You want to play in the bitch drama? Okay, Patricia Thomas, whatever you want to do. But we've really come a long way from you kicking her under the table because she said ass. Hmm? Ugh, disgusting. Lord Baroque, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, what the hell? What's IWD? Wait. <laughs> Hopping on the happy IWD train. What's IWD? I'm old. Don't use letters at me. International Woman's Day. Oh, tabarnak. That's right. That's so not a thing here. I'm sorry. An ex-boyfriend told me that for the first time in my 20s. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't even know what that was. Happy International Woman's Day. Happy IWD, all you hip young kids with your letters. Hmm? I have a lot of my own problems, but <clears throat> I guess it's just allowing myself to be triggered by what people say about me. Because I know they're not true. Like, it's just, it's, you know what I mean? So I have no, to. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much, really. She prayed for us. Thank you. We need the prayers. <laughs> well, hello, handsome purr. <laughs> and uh, she invited us uh, to Alaska. <clears throat> oh my God, hot oh, wasabi, I love you. Jog on, salad. Jog on. That's right. You are Don Ward. Jog on, Patricia Thomas. Jog on. <laughs> oh, soon, yeah. You want to see a Beezer? Smooch. <laughs> Look at this power to couple. Can you do a girls only live and show us your hair? <clears throat> no, because it would be public still A plus. You spoke about gaming bees. Okay, mistress, yes. Um okay, so we have this this thing that's Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. But Salah before I came, he found out I liked video games, so he went and Salah? bought Salah Slaw. Promise, thank you for the super chat girl. The original Resident Evil. We have like Silent Hill. We have you know remember Circus, the, the game Circus? It's called uh, Atari Nintendo. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Atari, yeah, there's Atari games, yeah. um, Street Fighter. He's like 28. What the fuck do you know about life or Atari, you little shit? Atari, I think it's called Atari. Like, yes, they programmed him to know about Atari. The robot goes back longer than 28 years. That's impressive. Cole Slaw, yes, he's Slaw now. <laughs> Slash Patricia Thomas. Everybody get on board with the fucking Patricia Thomas thing. I will get the, I don't, oh, you know what? I'm going to put up the clip. I don't care. It'll be red or whatever. As long as it's playable, I don't give a fuck. I'm putting up the Patricia, Com Tom blah, blah, blah. Patricia Thomas clip Com <laughs> compilation. So you all get it. Damn it. You better jump on board with this. He is Patricia Thomas to us. Every time he does this bitch drama thing, it's Patricia Thomas. There's all kinds of games we can play together that are so fun. Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons game. Remember how stupid that was? <laughs> yeah. Boring. To cross like... the street <laughs> and the car crushed him. The, the mailbox hit you. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up with the games. I don't know how, but make it work. <laughs> Estrian skipped any girl on the dating app who said she was into working out or hiking. No, I heard him say too that he doesn't like big women. Like what? And yellow baby, thank you for the super chat. I mean, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has gorgeous hair. I'm jealous. Don't ever let Chantal drive in Kuwait. No, no. Why not? <laughs> Every time we go. Okay, Patricia Thomas is Peter Thomas. 
Peter Thomas from Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Peter Thomas had a, has, I should say, because he literally guest starred on Real Housewives of Potomac this season and just, just came on to involve himself in bitch drama, okay? Peter Thomas has a history of always involving himself in the bitch drama. He just can't shut the fuck up and let the women go back and forth. He always needs to be in it. Always. So Nene started calling him Patricia Thomas. Like, stay out of the bitch drama, Patricia Thomas. And it was hilarious. And every time he would start fucking doing it again, she would call him Patricia Thomas. And I would lose my shit laughing. And this guy has really become the Patricia Thomas of Shantopolis. Well, I think we're going to die 50 times on those streets. Not that much. Oh, my God. People just like. You cross the line entirely. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, <really. laughs> no, the roundabout, whenever that guy with the bus came. Oh, like, yeah, let him join bitch drama. He can absolutely, like, marhaba to the bitch drama. But if you want to be involved in bitch drama, I'm going to call you Patricia Thomas, and I'm going to start decimating you like the bitch that you are. It is what it is. I don't go for this guy too much either because, like, he's not in the bitch drama. But, I mean, like, if you want in, <laughs> welcome, bitch. <laughs> In, like you were like this close to him and he comes in like i'm like oh my god like oh. two centimeters maybe, maybe <coughs> that <could> hit you. <coughs> is there a fragrance that smells like stella as for a friend um yeah i don't know how to describe it but <clears throat> kids you're inside the home ew ling g thank you for the super chat absolutely fucking lutely not never no 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 i am nobody's member the only thing is, is we're public, so we can't, you know, things that, you know, Muslims believe uh, in this culture too. It's things like that affection are kept between, you know, husband and wife um, privately, which is, you know, very True. good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, if you can't, <clears throat> we don't have to prove it, but I mean, it's obvious to me that we love each other. So I don't know. <laughs> Chantal feed it's all feeding shit. Romantic. Poor Pete's the internet is a tough place and he's not as thick skin. <coughs> yeah. Uh Julie, I that's awful. I'm so sorry. That's rough. And I don't mean that with disrespect. I think it's, you know, particular. Like if you look at other people online, I just recently found out about this Cyrax guy. They do it to people like DLF, King Cobra, you know, and claim these people are horrible people, but then go and like punch this guy in the face and go and like bully him every day. It's just like so they do it to DLF. For anyone who doesn't remember that DLF guy, the only context I have about this lunatic is that he was a hardcore Chantal simp and used to make videos threatening to slice my neck. And he had like a sword and a knife one time while he did those videos. So no, I don't feel bad if people are coming for him online. Fuck that. Cyrax is a pedo? Oh, fuck, I know nothing about these people. The only one I had context about was that DLF schmuck. Little Earthquake, thank you for the super sticker. So weird, like, you know what I mean? Like, just leave the guy alone. He's obviously deranged. I don't know. Like, it's not defending these people because I don't really know them, but, like, at the same time, you can obviously tell they have problems. <clears throat> so you're not in the same ballpark. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that whole pick on your own size kind of thing? <clears throat> Ashadu Allah um la Ramadan. Allah, my husband was from Egypt. Ashraf Muhammad Mortez of Oh my gosh. Shell Thompson, Thompson, thank you for the super chat. How sad is that, eh? The fact that this guy is so bland and so shitty that he's making people think back like fondly to the Koki time is very, very depressing. <coughs> <Rest in peace. coughs> I hope I said that correctly. I don't know. Did she say that correctly? <laughs> Crazy for um, he did in uh, 2004. Allah, come on, my YouTube tax evader. <laughs> That's what people think I'm doing because if technically, yes, if I'm a resident here, I don't have to pay taxes, but it's not like I can just you know, Janie. Thank you for the super chat, you know what I mean? So, but <clears throat> it's not like Canada, it's not like the United States with that thing. Like, the IRS is a lot stricter, they revoke people's passports, they don't let like I don't know if they let you guys set up payment plans, but like. The CRA, the Canada Revenue Agency, is really good with that and lets you make payment like arrangements based on your budget. So um, I am repaying my debts. I'm not evading them at all. <laughs> you know. I wonder if that's true. 
It could very well be. Listen, benefit of the doubt here. She has that payment arrangement. She's right about that. Revenue Canada, if you have a payment arrangement with them, like they're pretty good. If you didn't like, you know, wait years and try and tax evade and stuff, they'll make a payment arrangement with you if she's still paying it. Mm, I don't know. Something feels weird about this though. Seems to me like she's running off. I don't know. Or hopes to anyway. Ammo, thank you for the super chat. I wanted you to drop your surprise on any PBJ news during Ramadan. Whoop, bloop. <laughs> She's lying. I think so too. You guys are so cute. Thank you, Hella. Thank you. Sing Faris Karan. Faris Karan? Yeah. Do you know any songs by her? Oh, sing Tenura. Leibit Asr Tenura. Tilha Ayun Shabab. Hey, Yalla. What's your favorite thing about Shanty? <clears throat> What's your favorite thing about me? Oh, you. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> what a stupid answer! Oh, this guy can't even fake it. What's your favorite thing about me? All of you. Wow. Well done, salad. Wow. Do Hickey, thank you for the super chat. So beautiful, your white heart. Uh, so kind. What else? I'm kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sweet. Thank you. Do you want some? Um, is this called hal halwa? Uh, hello, uh, hello. Hello. Mm. Hello. Hello. Okay, we, I'm not gonna eat anymore because look at. I already ate a lot. Uh, keep something for tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody note that she giggles about it uncomfortably today, but soon it'll be. He fat shamed me, guys. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> tat von b tat thank you for the super chat appreciate it he literally tried to bottle feed her fucking weird fucking weird it's opposite day in their world <laughs> what did he say keep some for tomorrow <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> You're fake laughing too much. Oh, look, she's all red. She's so angry right now. I love that. Well done, Salad. You pissed her off good. Look how fucking red she is. She laughed like way too long, way too fake. <laughs> I love it. What? Daniela Baby, thank you for the super chat, girl. My super chats never read out. I mean, girl, I don't read them all out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Read that one out. And I acknowledged what you had said in the last one about giving Chantal money. I mean, come on, come on, girl. There's literally 5,000 people here. What's the model? <laughs> Enough. So I'm sick anyway. And the story? Uh, if let's say the Chantal. <laughs> Chantal Halwa. Halwa? You mean like pretty? Yeah. Uh, but I thought that was Jamila. <laughs> also Jamila, the same. Huh. Gaming bees, yes. You guys want to play? How do you feel about his Playboy shirt? Mm -hmm. No, it's a guy and a girl sitting. It's not two girls, right? <laughs> have no, a zoom mom. Listen, you can call him whatever you want to. I'm sticking with Patricia Thomas. <laughs> Get both PS5. You can stream easily through. Really? A PS5. I don't even know if that's available here. Is it? Do you have a PS5, Mistress? <clears throat> I think she has Xbox. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. I know, right, Golden Girl? Can I ask what would happen if a couple show? What if a couple like <clears throat> just started making out in the streets here? I don't know. Probably get told not to, I guess, right? Like what? If couples, if like a couple just started kissing in the street here, what would happen to them? People are wondering. Um, depends on uh, if they, if someone. Uh, if, if a cop saw them. Yeah, if cops or someone called the cops or something, <clears throat> they will, uh, uh, they will arrest them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't sound too concerned. He's like, that's why we don't do it outside on the street. We hit up the room with the red light. Mm, nobody arrests us in that room. One salty beach. Thank you for the super chat, girl. <clears throat> it's easier to stream on PS5. The latest graphics. Yeah, you should see the graphics on these old games. Bye, Catherine. Thanks for joining. 
It, yeah, we're not going to stay on too, too long. <clears throat> my ex accidentally door dashed Taco Bell to my house. <gasps> this is exactly, by the way, what I was like dreading with the return to Kuwait. Exactly this. This scene. The blue couch, her sitting there, the robot sitting next to her will never get us a fucking rage as good as we'll get in Ottawa. You know, it's going to be boring as hell. But look at look at this. It's exactly what we didn't want. And here we are again. Ugh, with robotic Patricia Thomas. <laughs> That's the best mistake. Mm, Taco Bell. You guys have Taco Bell here? Taco Bell, yes. We have to try Taco Bell. It's very popular in North America. Interesting. Sweet. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, thank you for the super chat. I will be watching that later. And we'll all be discussing tomorrow. Hey, what? <laughs> They're notorious for having like mystery meat. So at least here it would be halal real meat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I tried, I think, around five, six times. <clears throat> really? Mm. Oh, wait, Cyrex asked for it. He says the N word. Oh, really, Rhonda? I actually like didn't watch him. So if he says things like that, then yeah, punch him, I guess. <laughs> uh, Marvin, <laughs> perfect. Thank you for the super chat. You can definitely miss Patty. I love it mother and his brother like his dad is his brother or something i don't know uh, yeah. <laughs> who are you talking about you talking about you <laughs> your dad is your uncle is god only knows what mm -hmm. <laughs> and she giggles about it and someone else ma'am take a look at your toes take a look at your weird puffy eyelids and talk to us again about whose uncle is whose uncle brother father or funkle whatever Yes, a flop era, yeah. <coughs> if you're uh, kissing or doing anything sexual in the public, you'll be arrested. Yes. Or you'll, you'll pay fines or something. Anna Halwa. That look. Kuwait, Narc City. Do you guys want to do a live stream? No, nobody said the N word. N is uh, the first initial of the the kinship kids. You know, there was the two kids who aren't. It's, it's sort of like foster kids, but it's not really. They're called the kinship. One of their name, the girl's name starts with an N. So we refer to her as N. Nobody's like said the N word. At the McDonald's in Kuwait City someday. What do you think? I think. Um, <laughs> what was their music? Y-E-S. Yes. I like McDonald's bees in life. But I have to go on a diet. No, not a diet. If I eat a McDonald's meal, then I just have to watch what I eat the rest of the day. There's like ways to do it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Duchess, thank you for the super chat. Uh, things are back to spicy. I don't know. No more. Uh, but it's been really hard. You you might think I still have been swearing a lot for the past, let's say, month and a bit, right? Since these new fucking rules. To me, oh my God, I'm second guessing everything I'm saying. It's very difficult. Now I feel like I can just kind of go back to normal. Hmm? That's hard. I don't know. <clears throat> Especially if you've never had a Mick Arabia. It's really good. Or a Chicken Mac. Imagine calling the cops for people kissing. It's giving Karen. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's two people kissing on the street. <laughs> I'm given the location. <laughs> right, Flop. Kuwait prison bees. No! Kuwait. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I like that. I don't like seeing people making out on the street. But always, like, get a room. Like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, you don't like um, seeing people make up on the street because you never had a boyfriend. Where's your person to make out with you? Eh, jealous? Aussie Irish Tish, uh, Trish, thank you for the super chat, girl. All of a sudden, I start sweating really bad, which is pretty normal, so I didn't think anything of it. But then I started feeling really dizzy. <clears throat> in that morning, like in the morning, I started having a cough, and now I'm like full blown sick. So I'm not. Shoot, man. <laughs> I don't remember what I'm supposed to say in reply. Allah is almak. Allah is almak. Allah is almak. Allah is almak. Are you what? I love when you do that. Are you what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the holy kids are under the sand right now. <laughs> uh, no, only my PS4 because you can't stream on YouTube through the system on Xbox. If PS5 <laughs> is not available, Roland, thank you for the super chat. Uh, it's cheaper and more available. Yeah, you were saying it. Both yeah, I, totally PS4, yeah. I like Xbox because I can play Silent Hill Homecoming, which for some reason I love that game. But okay, now, now watch. People are going to say that. Uh, we complained and made the kids homeless now. We, we got them kicked out of their home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they did. I, I wasn't even following anymore. I was uh, stuck on the Xbox thing. When has she ever played Xbox? Am I crazy that I've never seen her ever once play Xbox? And she's talking like she's some kind of gamer. Oh, I really like this on the Xbox. What? I've seen her play with the pizza uh, Switch. That's it. The fuck is she talking about? Is this to impress the gamer husband? Maybe. <laughs> how pathetic 
Random name. Thank you for the super chat. What's my opinion on whether she can get citizenship there or not? Shit, I don't know. What the fuck? I, I literally have no idea. Uh, there's now some, I saw some things on Twitter about like, maybe he would be able to somehow like sponsor her. I don't know if she would get citizenship or just some kind of like status where she could stay. But even that there's question because apparently she would have to pass some kind of physical and the likelihood of her passing a physical is, you know, slim to none. I have no idea. <laughs> they were pretty annoying, right, guys? So I thought. Hello, Crystal. The water reference, ice cold. Do you guys want to go um camping beezing? We we can do a twelve hour live stream camping beezing. That'd be fun. Oh my god, no, don't do it. Like, <laughs> like I know, okay, some people might think my content's boring, but for me, I personally love just turning on the camera and just living life and live streaming it. Or wow, your content is boring, and the whole. <laughs> F for the uh, channels still watching you all the time, <laughs> hours for hours. Yeah, I know. It's really strange. People are straight. Did I give you an arm wiggle? <sighs> Your chicken video made my life. Really, Crystal? I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I feel kind of bad, but at the end of the day, I have to remember okay, this is, I eat chicken, so this is normal. This is natural. This is a lot of people do it. <clears throat> See, Chantelle, keep it down or you will be booed into. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be kicked out as well. If you were coughing and sniffing this much in Canada, they would for sure say that you're on drugs. I know. <coughs> no, we wouldn't. We're not insane. We can tell the difference between genuine sniffing and coughing and the way she sniffs when she does that. There's a difference there, Beezers. If you can't see it, doesn't mean we can't. <coughs> oh, baby, your content is so boring. Why I watch it? I can watch it. Yeah, no problem. Like, I will watch it for like, hours. Yeah, or is that I don't have it. Look at Patricia Thomas in the corner being Patricia Thomas. Look at him full on entering bitch drama for no reason. There is, you, it's not even a moment to enter. You're entering on dumb shit. Like, who asked for this little impersonation with your hands up, P Patricia Thomas? You, <laughs> this is fucking weird. You are fucking weird. I don't know what to say. He's as bad as her. He's he's just, it's worse. At least her, it's her drama. He's just being bitch drama. Like, look, he's enjoying this. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Shut up, Patricia. You know, I always called him Pete's, Tall Pete's. And I would say, Tall Pete's, leave. Patricia Thomas, shut your face. <laughs> Why don't you go reapply your lipstick and shut the fuck up, Patricia Thomas. Jesus Christ, no one asked you. Go shave the little shave hole into your eyebrow. Fuck. Oh, no one cares. Ah, go air fry yourself some dino nuggies. Get the fuck out of here, Patricia Thomas. Bubble, uh, Bubble Kirby Von Pondu. Thank you for the super chat. In life, I would watch your content, the boring content, for <laughs> hours every day. Uh, but it's boring. It's boring, yes. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. Oh, Sharon. Hi, by the way. Yeah, like... Hey, Patricia Thomas sitting over there. Mm -mm. Uh, have you asked yourself what's the most boring part of her content? It's you. It's the return to Kuwait. Nobody can stand you sitting in the corner there with your weird fucking eyebrows. Mm? Robot. No one likes you. No one likes Kuwait. You're the worst part of this shitty, shitty channel. If I was you, I would shut it. <laughs> Embarrassing. No, even exactly. Like, her video was disgusting. Like, so why watch it? Like, why watch it? A chicken getting slaughtered is like, don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, Black's Chaos and rolling his R's, I know. He sounds perfect. The car. <laughs> the car. <clears throat> Tell Zachary and Michael the children were slaughtering chickens. They'll be happy they're homeless then. <laughs> <clears throat> Them kids thirsty, evicted. <laughs> Anyways, I know I literally just said I'm taking a break from YouTube, but. Even Sala was like, didn't you just say that you're not going to go live for a week? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Shoot. Silent Hill probably available on PS4 too, but you can't through on YouTube, to Xbox only. Pigeons. <clears throat> Capture card OBS. That's the thing, Mr. I find like setting up a, a stream, a gaming stream like you do, I find that so like intimidating for me. So like what we're probably just going to. Oh, mistress. 
uh, um, that wouldn't happen to be mistress that salad boy was in her chat. She has those racy pictures with her butt towards the camera and stuff. Oh, that one. So that's why Chantal is getting into gaming now or pretending to. I see. <laughs> what a fool. This is so stupid. Let the guy live, man. The very same. Mm, isn't that intriguing? Oh, just a girl. <laughs> Wait, did uh, did he just admit that they watch reaction channels? He absolutely did. Idiots. Stephen Pondu, thank you again for the super chat. That Chinny says calling him Patricia is racist. Yeah. Oh, my God. First she called him Salad. Then she called him Patricia. She's getting even further from his name. She's mispronouncing it on purpose. <laughs> to do is just point the camera at the tv <laughs> and that's it, that's it. <clears throat> more easier <clears throat> you know what i mean and we're probably just gonna play dinky games all the kids had it coming um what's your opinion on zach michael do you think he's a harmless boy or an annoying thumb i think he's a soy boy what's a soy boy are you fucking kidding me <laughs> did salad really just call somebody else a soy boy Patricia Thomas just called somebody a soy boy? Wow. Soy boy is homophobic slur? Oh, I didn't know that. I saw I thought soy boy is one of those like, you know, like metrosexuals. <laughs> Am I wrong? I, I I need to Google this. Wait, I need to know this right away. What? Is a soy boy. Describe men perceived to be lacking masculine characteristics. Oh, I did not think that. I thought it was like sort of like hippie ass behavior. Like, you know, the ones who live in their vans and stuff. I would have thought like, like Everett, like I thought that's what it was. Okay. So it's not at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dainty Fingers is really calling someone else a soy boy if you really want to go there, Koki. Oh my God, I called him Koki. Oh, you're getting to that level. If I call you Koki by mistake, it's bad for you, Salad Patricia. Do not be calling anyone a soy boy. You fucking soy boy. What's a soy boy? Soy boy who uh, like vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> okay, look, he thought it meant the same thing as me. <laughs> Fair. Listen, I didn't know that it meant anything like that either. I literally thought it was one of those like hipster, you know, doofus. That, what's a soy boy? He says, you know, like a vegetarian. I swear to God, that's sort of what I thought. <laughs> F you salad, but I'm with you on that one. All right. Nobody knows what a soy boy. You guys knew what's a soy boy. Soy boy is not homophobic. It's just like a weak feminine man. So salad then. <laughs> What? Is that what a soy boy is? Yeah. Somebody who's a vegetarian? Yeah. I think sometimes, I don't, I mean, I think he's like less hateful than a lot of reaction channels, but I think he just complains about nothing. Jill Thompson, thank you for the super chat. You're not wrong, girl. It's ridiculous, you know. Hi, Daisy. And, uh, yes, 48 hour of... fiance. That's exactly the sort of image that I had in my mind. Think of, wait, where did your thing go? Damn it. The chat moves so fast. Uh, you think that think of like a man bun that's exactly what i had in my head you know a tofu eaten vegetarian who likes to like uh shop in bulk at places where you bring your own containers and um does like zero garbage months and things like that you know what i mean that's what i thought it was at least the chicken is fresh yeah <clears throat> fresh chicken his mom are crunchy exactly the crunchy crew and be comfortable with how it's prepared exactly boring but yet 50 different reaction channels exactly all the fresh pork my mom got from the pig farm i worked at really that's a lot you will never take a break <laughs> yeah well at the time i think i'm going to but then i yeah i fool myself every time it's funny how they sit on panels 24 7 discussing chantal and create a whole channel based on chantal yeah, and they exactly. call their content boring right <laughs> i know <laughs> I forgot you said you were taking a break. I know Flop Era's first comment. Girl, we know your breaks are simply 15 minute breaks, like the ones we get at our normal nine to five. <laughs> Got a new phone case. We eat content from my show. <sighs> yeah, I know. 
I guess I just missed my users. Oh, true users have memory loss a little bit for us. I love watching you too. I did not watch very much when Chantal was hanging around with that yucky dude. <laughs> yeah, I lost a lot of people, and I don't, I don't blame you guys in a way. <clears throat> uh, Crystal says reaction channels do nothing but sit and talk. Why it's so bad for you to do that? <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> is that, I don't know. Is that what a soy boy is? They have vegetarian man. Eat with Q showed a similar video of a chicken being slaughtered in Nigeria. No one gave her hate for it. Yeah, exactly. It's just because it's me. That's not what a soy boy is. What is a soy boy? Hey, Estrella. Hi, Estrella. <coughs> Estrella, mozzarella. <laughs> Reaction channels do nothing but sit and talk. Why is so bad for you to do that? Yeah. Soy boy could have different meaning in another country. <laughs> Oh my God, come on, I can do something. Shut up with the soy boy talk. So if if he is, and he's like outraged and disgusted by me, don't okay, watch it. Don't watch it. Yeah. Don't watch it. But if you're eat chicken, that makes it even worse for you to complain <sighs> about it. Hypocrites. Yeah. Oh, we're hypocrites salad, is that right? We're hypocrites. It's not a hypocritical for somebody who tried to euthanize a cat who was not meant to be euthanized. Uh, to post up a video of, a, of the slaughter of another animal. That's not hypocrite. Hypocrite. And then oh, play victim. I know, Angela. Oh, I need, personally prefer the hangout streams. I'm okay. There, there's, I think, millions <coughs> of, millions of videos about, uh, how this, to slaughter yeah, chicken. About yeah. chickens, yeah. Yeah, people on farms or whatever showing people how to slaughter chicken. And you know Just, what? Yeah, go visit the farm and you'll see more than this. Yeah. What if you're somebody who can't afford to buy store-bought chicken these days and you have to start raising your chickens and you decide you want to be more natural and raise your farm? You, you, Everybody looks for educational things on YouTube. So why is it not okay for somebody to post the process of slaughtering a chicken, something that people do? People consume so Oh, God. Shut up. Don't do all this. You know damn right why you posted the video and it had nothing to do with any of this bullshit. So stop it. So much chicken in North America, it's ridiculous. I saw, yeah, I saw it's more wars, even. It's like yeah, only America. because you lived in North America until you now went to Kuwait. Okay, without you being in North America, maybe the chicken consumption will drastically reduce. No Nashies for you here this year. Quite shocking, though. Actually, I think they just like it depends, but no, they, they kill beef that way for sure. Yeah, it's shocking. Yeah, I don't know. I think they just hang the chickens upside down and cut their heads. They have a machine that just cuts all the heads. Chicken and cows and sheep. Many, many ways. Yeah. Many bad ways. Yeah. Mm. A plus is thanks. What? Hello, Sabre. Did y'all get to eat the chicken? It's in the fridge. I'm going to marinate it and probably cook it tomorrow. <clears throat> the title was clear. Save your food. <laughs> the camera. Be like, Salah changed which eyebrow he raised. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> tiny lasagna. Zachary Michael has videos of him cooking beef. So he's going to clutch his pearls again over the chicken being slaughtered when he eats meat. <coughs> Should someone send him a video of how his beef is made? <laughs> he must learn. He still need more. If they don't talk about Chantal, no one will watch them because they don't have their own content. And if they do, do, no one cares. They are irrelevant. Exactly. Look at Frenchie's freaking crappy vlogs for being on a sky wheel with just saying instead of her boyfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> We're back to that. The sky wheel with just saying, yes, because it's a touristic thing to do, and no one from the city gives a fuck to do it. To be totally honest, you take tourists on that fucking wheel or children, I suppose. I don't give a damn. And if it wasn't for just saying, come here, I would have never probably went on that fucking wheel in my whole life. Who cares? I don't care. But since you seem to make such a big deal about it, is it because Koki took Dee Dee on the wheel? Where's your man to take you on the wheel? Where's your friend to go on the wheel with you? Loser, you don't have either one, so shut your face. <coughs> At last, my toe is uh, doing well. <coughs> and to be quite honest, I don't know if they let 450 pound people even get on the wheel. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I am. <clears throat> I am sick. Um, I had to sleep a lot. I'm just so exhausted and worn out. I think it's just the, the time, the jet lag. Changing and weather. Yeah, the weather change and <clears throat> this and that. How is Salah's toe doing? Very well. Say, yeah, very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. My card declined. I have no idea why I'm here. Really, Lacey? <laughs> Zachary Michael is a what? A pigeon. Jen Marie, Chantal, and Salah, my favorite YouTube couple. Thanks, oh, Jen Marie. Thank you, Jen Marie. 
Thank you, guys. <coughs> anyway, I didn't mean to freak people out with the chicken video. It's just, you know, a thing. It's a normal thing. A plus says, Chantal is sick. Sick of, sick of you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> are you going out today? You are, eh? You have to go out today. Yeah. Me? No. I'm sick. Yeah, uh, you have to rest, baby. Yeah, we're supposed to, I'm supposed to go. We did a lot of shopping yesterday, and then <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm very sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now he's mocking her. <clears throat> Interesting. He can't stand you like the rest of us, Chantal. This is, oh, she doesn't see it. He loves me. I love him. It's my destiny. Blah, blah, blah. Just like Koki. Every chance he gets now, he's a shady beach. I'm very, I'm, I got sick. Mm -hmm. We're sick just being out there. And then I'm like, okay, so. You'll be well, Chantal. So don't worry. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to watch the second part of the movie later today? Yes. Overdraft fees in. Oh my gosh, I remember having an overdraft. But don't feel scary, okay? Don't feel scary. <laughs> <laughs> you are scared of the movie, don't lie. Are men allowed to swear? No, technically we're not supposed to swear. But I think men get away with more in general than women, for sure. <laughs> but that's okay. Streaming full too. Thank you for the super chat. I genuinely don't know that they would let her on. Come to think of it, the door opens. It's pretty small. I, I really don't think she could have gone. It's a shame. Um, okay, what was I going to say, guys? Yeah, I'm pretty sick. I'm not feeling too well. I want some spicy soup. <clears throat> lentil soup, you mean? No, I, I love lentil soup, babe, but you know what? Like... Uh, soup or soup? Soup. I got soup. <laughs> <laughs> what in the jughead laugh? What the hell was that? Hold on. Soup, eh? but you know what? Like... Uh, soup or soup? Soup. I want soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. What was that? <laughs> Fucking idiot, man. Who programmed the laugh track in the robot? You fucked up. Yeah, goofy. It is like goofy. <laughs> Oh, Marissa, a member for 21 months. Wait, what? Loyalty, please. <coughs> I'd like a couple's arm wiggle this month, please. Nice, Marissa. She Michelle wants Allah. a couple's arm wiggle, so you got to do it too. Okay? Oh. Marissa's the, the number one. The oh, you want that shit in the intro? Okay, I got to write down the timestamp. All right, hold on. The right time. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, <coughs> Can you do this one? I do this one. Yalla. Thank you for rebeezing, as always, Marissa. Ready, Ready set, to rebeez. <laughs> <laughs> Black chaos laughing. <laughs> I didn't know Jim Carrey made horror movies. <laughs> Jim Carrey, <laughs> he will never do a horror movie. Actually, Cable Guy is a horror movie to me. It's creepy. It's tragedy. I think. <clears throat> it's tragic. tragic yeah. yeah. Tragic with the uh, comedy also makes. Yes, dark humor. Yeah, you're right. Um, have you followed the addict Alex Murdoch? Who's this? Oh, Opso. Is that a thing? Thank you for the super chat. Oh boy, Merce from Kissing the Camels. You think that's what it is? I just thought it was the run of the mill Rona. I I don't know. Alex Murdoch. So no, I haven't. I don't follow much. Honestly, I don't. And I'm really trying to read more of the Quran and just like do things like I'm trying not to be so much on online. I just like have you ever noticed how who else does this? Whose favorite thing to do is get super cozy, get in bed, and just scroll TikTok for like hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially when I was away from you. Like yeah. I would just be doing that all day. And that's not healthy. <clears throat> Watch the Truman Show with Chantal's story. You are so cute. So cute. So cute. You know, you know that? Really? Yeah. yeah, you tell me every day. <laughs> you can always grab my cheeks. I love it. Do I feel hot like I have a fever? It's warm. Yeah. Not hot, not cold. <coughs> <coughs> uh, what my symptoms are is fatigue, dizziness, and my cough is dry, but there feels like there's stuff stuck. And when I cough it up, it hurts so bad. So I don't know if I have like COVID. I don't know. I have some. No, just. Oh my God. I swear that cough, that cough where it was like super, super dry, but you also feel super phlegmy, but it's like, there's never any phlegm. That's exactly the cough that I had when I had the fucking Rona. <gasps> I'm just saying, I don't know, but that's how it felt like to me. It's blue. 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 But the kind of soup I'm craving is like pho 
or some kind of hot brothy chicken soup or something not mm. creamy and thick like like um maggi yeah. what maggi you you have a fresh chicken in your fridge for the love of god why don't you make the homemade chicken from scratch and we can fight about it for another year hmm with the raw chicken in your fridge yeah. oh, i wish we had maggi <laughs> Uh, inshallah tomorrow. Uh, or now. Now? <laughs> when I go. Oh, MERS is a type of coronavirus. Well, wow. holy shit. Phew. It's not looking good, Chantal. You better go to a doctor. Yeah. Okay, I'll uh, bring it to you. Okay. I missed what you did with all your stuff from Canada. Did you bring some pictures to put up? <laughs> so I did bring. What did I bring? Yeah, like sentimental things and that I did bring. I brought some things like memories from my grandma, some pictures. I did bring a lot of things to the point where <clears throat> I thought my luggage was going to be over. It was like right at the limit. Luckily, my stepfather, and I don't know why he had this, but it was so nice. He had a luggage scale, so I was able to weigh it because that really was stressing me out. I thought there's no way my luggage is too heavy. I wish I could have brought more, including my cats, honestly. I really do. But um you know what? That's a great point. 48 hour fiance, FFG saved BBJ's little bean toes, little toe beans. Put her down. Don't prolong her suffering. That's right. No medication, right? If it's time, it's time. It would be cruelty to medicate. Your words, right, Chantal? Yeah, I couldn't. So a lot of it just ended up um, going to some people I knew, some to the trash, some to like donation trucks variety of things oh and by the way did you see that person who like stalked my neighbors how they had nothing bad to say <laughs> they didn't even know who i was i love it something bad to say I, uh they didn't have much to say however they did say that there were all those spca stickers left on your door i think that's pretty bad just saying mosi thank you for the super chat his patty is goofy ass laughing his riz for girly i mean you know <clears throat> so crazy people you have to try zupa toscana oh are you italian what is this <laughs> that's crazy two life sentences with no parole okay who is this guy i am sick for a pair of a dishwasher <laughs> no i'm uh, daisy told you <clears throat> oh daisy yeah drink lemon ginger and honey yes. yes yeah we have to go to the grocery store we only went to one store and i have to get more stuff jim carrey did the movie number 23 a horror movie oh yeah i forget about that one by big pharma to ignore you. <laughs> Tuberculosis beasting. What did Sarah Boone do? Don't feel sad, Daisy. <laughs> she just, uh, I think, uh, confused with a lot of comments. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm having trouble. <clears throat> Hi, AMC. The Alex Murdoch trial is too long to explain. Okay, I'm going to look it up. But Sarah Boone, is she the one who locked her boyfriend in a suitcase and left him there? <clears throat> If that's the woman, then she deserves everything because, like, if you can listen to somebody, I don't know. I guess it depends. I don't know the story. I don't know her story, but like, was her boyfriend abusive or something? I don't know. <clears throat> but I'll have to look up Alex Murdoch. Anyway. Yeah, Vink, that's a good point. She's sick with something. Stay home, damn it. Or go to the doctor if you're leaving. Well, thanks. I'm happy now. Make her some tea. <laughs> we actually don't have lemon or ginger. We have honey. I just had some honey mint tea, but. We need to get some ginger. We need to stock up on uh, food at the co-op. Yeah, SPCA. Um, anyway, in my city, it's SPCA and another organization. They do um, that kind of thing. They'll do even animal seizures if it's um, deemed necessary, things like that. They go, they check condition of animals, uh, things like that, okay? that's SPCA is who we did the charity stream for last August, you know? For exactly that reason, they, I mean, they don't do much, like they're not busting indoors and it's, it's fucked. The system is fucked and they don't give them enough, let's say rights to be aggressive enough, but when they can, they are the, the ones there to help. So I, uh, I don't know. I respect the shit out of them slash it disgusts me how the SPCA in my city is ran and how corrupt the whole thing is. Inshallah, in a few hours. Uh, yeah. Super Toscana Olive Garden is the best. 
Yum. I want to try soup. Yeah. He just petted her head like a dog. The Chandal has Salah size suitcases. <laughs> no, luckily for him, he's very tall. <clears throat> Chantal, could you fit in a suitcase? No, lucky for me, no. <laughs> Lemon and ginger with raw honey. Extra <gasps> potatoes, yum. Is the co-op the Kuwaiti version of the Lachine Maxi? <laughs> no frills. But most people shop there. <coughs> it's like it's not. Is it a cheaper Ooh, grocery store? Mella Bella, thank you for the super chat. That's scary. Yeah, they're not privately owned, so the prices are not outrageous. But it's pretty cool there. I like it. I like that little area in the middle with all the snacks. There's a snack man that works in the middle of the store, and he has all these snacks. Mm. Okay, and this he's... is a private. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, the middle of the private guy... sector. Like it's uh, someone. It's by his own business. Oh. Uh, the last snacks, uh, seeds. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He gets all these snacks and he lets you try them. He gives you a little bottle yeah, of water. This, yeah, this is uh, a store this. for him, yeah. but he rents in the corporation for oh. the government. Oh, well, I like the snack man booth because they have a lot of, they have these snacks that are made with a zaatar. Oh, I don't know if you guys know what zaatar is. Oh, it's like a thyme spice. It's so good. Oh, baby. We still have it, right? Here? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of making. Let me show them zaatar. Yeah. What about zaatar popcorn? We have popcorn. We, I can make that tonight. <clears throat> Do you guys know what zaatar? Shut up, please. Zether, zether. A lot of people know what fucking Zathar is. You're not teaching the world anything new. Shut up. Vinny, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to show people things like Zathar, for the people who don't know, maybe make a video. Don't just sit there going, you know what Zathar is? Huh? Zathar? You ever heard of Zathar? He begged her to let him out. He kept saying he couldn't breathe. Exactly, exactly, Rhonda. Yeah. The only... I mean, that, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Don't drink super cold drinks. Oh, really? Uh, I love cold drinks, but you're right. It makes it worse. <coughs> Zatar. Oh, it smells good. You see? Yeah. Ooh, mob wife. That's scary. So good. Do you know what, guys? <clears throat> There's like sesame seeds, thyme. It's some kind of spices. It's very delicious. Who said that? Um, darkness. <clears throat> oh, darkness. Yeah. And well, we went to darkness. We went to a Syrian grocery store today. We videoed it. Amazing stuff. You I can think. see the video. Like, yeah. Maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah. Did we buy? Don't tell them everything because you know, they're surprised. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Zatar is life. We all know what Zatar is. Zatar with eggs and toast for breakfast. Yum. Quit Vicks of April Rock. Oh, hi, Jamie. Sorry, I forgot to say hi. It's funny, too. He's even, like, pushing her to get the videos out faster. Did you notice that? It's like, oh, maybe the video will be today, tomorrow. And he's looking at her, and she's looking all around like, uh, oh, I guess I have to edit. Uh, she just wants to be lazy. <laughs> yeah, I think we have Vicks. I think I brought my Vicks. I brought my Advil, that's for sure. <laughs> There's nothing like it. <clears throat> Jamie Rose, hi. Yeah, hi, Jamie Rose. Hi, I'm um, Jen Marie. Is that bag of Zatar in the <laughs> Mimi, is that for Harry's bidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, darkness. Actually, I seen, I saw, I seen, I saw, uh, remember the last time I tried when we had Labna for breakfast, I put Zatar and olive oil on it? Mm. Usually I was just eating it right out of the, <laughs> you roll your arms well. Do they have volunteer groups? I think so. Oh my God. Something I like about you, Chantal, is that you are open to try Arabian Middle Eastern culture. I love it, mistress. Not only willing to, I'm willing to live here for as long as I can. In the medicine bag. What was it? Flop Arrow is going to talk about the medicine bag now. What? Oh. Bam's Beezers. Hey there, love birds. Can I pretty, pretty please have a rebees with the tree lady impersonation? <laughs> I should use the love. Hard, uh, had a hard day. Okay. Ready? <laughs> All right. Ready? She said together, right? No, she wants me to do tree lady. Okay, so okay. I thought uh, together with uh, arm shape. Okay, Ella, go ahead. <coughs> uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> uh, what? Are you serious? <laughs> uh, never mind. It's okay. <laughs> Break time out. Thanks for calling my divorce. <laughs> well, the oh my God, they're like Beavis and Butthead of Kuwait. It's <laughs> just two goons. WTF. <laughs> it's an old thing they make me do. 
Thanks, man, skeezers. I think you've had like three YouTube moms oh who always end up abandoning you. <coughs> yeah, I think Rhoda was one. No, wait. Who are my YouTube moms? <laughs> Mimi, Salah has skipped. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. I know. Everyone's scared. Saudi Arabia and Dubai, yes, but I lived in USA and now. Oh, my I'm God. Fine. I'm so... Thank you for the super chat, baby. If you like this, uh, <laughs> FFG, we worship you. <laughs> uh. We worship you. <laughs> you're fake. The fuck was that? Salad, you're embarrassing yourself. Man. She fooled them all. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Right. <laughs> I look like a <laughs> Salah enjoys that more than me. <laughs> no, it's something weird. First time I like this impression. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Sabrina. Sabrina. Travonda. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> I was born in wartime back in the Middle East. I'm a war child, I was born under the shells. No way. Really? Oh, you must have seen some horrible things. <clears throat> For sure. <laughs> the tree lady, you guys remember that? The tree lady. <laughs> the tree lady ended up being curly probably all along. You know, that's a great point. V, VK. Radio silence still from Alla. TikTok Clarice. <laughs> I've lost track of the days, but I'm also losing my patience with him. So, what is today? Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. What am I saying? Thursday. It is Wednesday. I give him until next Wednesday. You have six days. TikTok, Clarice. I'll tell you the story about that. <clears throat> the tree lady. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. The the two words called SSS. Get the suitcase, <laughs> yes. get, get the suitcase ready. Meaning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right now, right away. <laughs> I'm starting to think the same thing. And by starting to think, I always had that, like, it was like 50-50 in my mind. Something might come of this. This guy's full of shit. It could have gone either way. Here's the way the cookie crumbled. <laughs> Prince Boo Boo, thank you for the super chat. I was wondering, does Foodie Booty get paid the same in Kuwait as she would in Canada for her YouTube channel? Because she said she isn't returning to Canada. Well, Unless uh, if she really has transferred the accounts, let's say, for example, of her AdSense, then there is no more uh, tax treaty. There's no tax treaty between Kuwait and the states. So she'll have a huge percentage of her YouTube money taken by the IRS. Uh, fortunately, in Canada, we have a tax treaty with you guys in the states. So we don't have to pay taxes like that to the IRS. So where she might not have to pay income tax the way she would in Canada, she's still going to get that amount taken from her money. So it might actually cost her more than income tax costed her here. Basically. What video? Remember. Show me the video. I'll, have to, I'll tell you about it after you. Your mama was so funny on a stream about Goldwater Snooper. Did you catch his life? Yeah, the funny thing I find about that is this guy has the nerve to be like, I'm going and uh, checking out an antisocial abode. What? You're the only antisocial person here, buddy. Like, what kind of antisocial? Oh, of course, Sniffers Anonymous. Thank you for the super chat. I feel the exact same way. There is no way I could be watching this anymore without you guys. And she doesn't get that, you know? She thinks anyone's still really watching for her, but it's like we're still watching despite the fact that she's on the screen. You know what I mean? It's more for the, this, the chat, and the fun we have. Uh, about my neighbor? Yeah. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> I I just tell him fuck off. Go ask him. Go ask him. By personal, not behind him and, and his neighbor. It's so it's so shame really. So crazy, insane. People. <clears throat> Weird about the neighbor. Has Salah seen abominable pizza? I don't think so. You got them evicted. <laughs> you got the neighbor. Uh, the your suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, oh my god, he's like a weird lab again. <laughs> what the hell? Mashallah. <laughs> oh, so boring content, guys. Watch, keep watching. Nice. Mashallah. We are so important uh, for you, so keep hunting. Hey, Donna Price, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Right? Where you shut the <clears throat>
I hate this guy so much. I, I can't have, I'll, even the way he just said, ready, set, bees. Ugh, it makes my skin crawl. Shut up, tall peeps, Patricia Thomas. Shut up. You, you were, this is live on Chantal's channel, okay? You are the reason I avoid the couple's channel. Please stay on the couple's channel. Hope you don't hate me, yay, for not taking a break. Hi, Howie. Howie. You guys have, I have to do a video of t taking Howie around the world. I call it taking Whoa. It grow. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I don't know why you. Wait, wait, wait. You want to make a video about taking a fucking rat fink around the world, but you were, wouldn't even entertain the idea of taking your cat? You guys, remember, remember, like, not even how long ago I'm like, I hate beards. I love, love Salah's beard. Thank you, Richard. I love it on him. I don't know. It makes him look like like we're closer in age. You know, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I like the style, by the way. So. You like it? I yeah. love your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute when you see it. so uh, nasty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a fucking man sit there and the woman says, like, I love your hair. And he almost, you can see it in his face. He wants to say, I love my hair too. <laughs> Damn, cute. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, I'm surprised. I know <laughs> Rhonda. But they're stocking up the villa garbage just to see what's going to get thrown out or something, whatever, you know? Thank you for the laughs tonight. Arguing with my boyfriend. Oh, Ava, I'm sorry. Do, uh, Donna Price. Hey, Salah, you are so good for Chantal. I know. I know. Sofa King is in Jessica Messica's chat fighting with a random person for Finland. What? <laughs> How are uh, can you face? Can you say happy birthday to Tisa's boyfriend for me, please? They would be so hyped. So we finish uh, fasting. What are you going to buy me for my birthday? <laughs> Surprise. I don't need anything but you, honey. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, I can't wait to see what she has to buy herself for her birthday and pretend like Sally got it for her for her birthday. <gasps> it's going to be so cheap. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be so good. Oh, where's your birthday gift? Hmm? Where's your business owner husband coming through with a nice gift the first birthday you're married? Hmm? Yeah. Abso, thank you for the super chat. Surprise. I for you forever. <laughs> but uh, also, you have to give, it, give it a cute small gift, Addy. Oh, Addy. Addy. Oh, my God. Maybe some bootleg it? perfumes from the company? You. Thank, you. thank you. And thanks, Donna. Yes. I think after... Especially after what I've been through with all the crap you guys have seen, you know, and now I have a real, real man and somebody, we just have something very special. A um, real so man. It's. Yeah. Uh, Liz said, I'm happy to see you becoming whole. Chantal. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. He should. <laughs> no, I want Zatar and Labna and. Vance B is there what? We just need to get Salah do the tree lady and he will be generating super chats <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> um. You know, I don't think, I think I, I acknowledge that, like, in a certain way, like, I have some role to play in some of the hate. Like, I think that people maybe, you know, started off as fans and then, like, but, like, what do you expect? Like, obviously, if I get pushed into a corner, sometimes I'm going to rage and defend myself. You know what I mean? So people who hate me for defending myself, I don't know what to say about that. But but there's people like, you know, like Angela and, like, Tracy and everybody, like, you know, P &P. Marissa, p, p like, people who legit, Rhonda, like, just all you regular beezers, you know, generally care about me. Your blood yeah. Years. And so many. <laughs> Interesting that she didn't say pissy poo. Hmm. Thank you. What's the plans for today? Well, you know what the thing is? I always make plans. Like I have, you saw my my planner. How many planners have I been through? And I plan my life. And then <clears throat> something will happen where I'll have a mental health block or just something like I'll just feel either just not right or like now I'm really sick. <coughs> so I had to cough for emphasis. No, I hold in the coughs. Like I don't want to cough because it hurts. So I need extra. Oh my God, here you are. I'm not even putting that on the screen because I'm not putting that out into the universe. No, no, just no. Arrest, I don't know. Probably just lazy movie day. Okay. Nice, baby. Yeah. Nice. I have to arrange everything for the home too. Like I have a lot to do in the kitchen. Like we bought like a whole bunch of- Oh, oh, oh she has? Uh oh, she's over. I wish I would have felt well enough to film that where, when we bought all the kitchen stuff because that would have been interesting for them. We can go back another day. Yeah. Okay. But I only filmed some of the things in there. 
because then I started to feel sick, so I didn't film the rest. No problem. Get the frosted translucent window stickers for the blue window. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Beezer is a smart Beezer. I she almost get it. <laughs> where, where's your comment? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm here for you, but I don't agree with everything you do all the time, but that's life. <laughs> but that's normal, Angela. Like, you know, I know I say and do outrageous things sometimes, and I know people don't always support it, but at the end of the day, you don't like flip the switch. You know what I mean? You just give me your opinion and we move oh, on. Don't apologize. That's so sweet from me. <laughs> you both are so gracious. Uh, Chantal, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. That is very, very sweet. Thank you so much. I will definitely use this money to buy more Alevna. <laughs> Remember my cream cheese ball? How are we going to commit? Oh, no. Send Howie out to buy the, the, the hallway kids. <laughs> Prepare the event. Kim, thank you for the super sticker, girl. <laughs> they got kicked out. That's funny. <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, this family, there, there was, I think, uh, not paying the rent on the, uh, on the time. Uh, so one month, two months, three months, they, they kicked him out. So oh. they find the uh, uh, they find another apartment, okay. but I think near here, not so far. <clears throat> and the parents would just let the kids like it's one thing to you know kids run around. There's gonna be kid noise. That that's fine. But then to let them run around with like Hot Wheels, they had these little like Hot Wheels motorcycle things. They would run up and down the the hallway like you're trying, you know. <clears throat> so what? Bees and let bees. You want to have a family and stuff. You should be a lot more tolerant to kids on their little Hot Wheels in the hallway. Who the fuck cares? It's not even like you go anywhere. Are y'all in a school gymnasium closet? The internet's like, time to get off. <laughs> the economy's wild. Just a good question. Do you people avoid working out during Ramadan with water restrictions? <clears throat> yeah, people probably don't exercise during the day for Ramadan, eh? Yeah, well, that's, so that is such like a, I don't know, like a, a nothing of a thing. They're playing on their little bikes in the hallway. What what do you care? You know, exactly. Kids being kids. What what the hell is wrong with her? In the safety of the building, the parents can keep a somewhat eye on them. What's your problem? Yeah, she does sound like a Karen. Little, She's an ass. And this wants to, or pretends like she wants to have kids during the day prayer you're supposed to pray all day mostly and yeah. charity and um reflection reading the quran just being you know so working out and working on yourself is not usually what you're supposed to do <clears throat> so but yeah i don't know yeah, she definitely she does hate kids on the one hand she's butthurt that she can't have any but she also hates them it's not citizen so they cannot sponsor you anyone have a residency here in kuwait whatever his nationality can sponsor his wife Keep it in your mind. Yeah. And <clears throat> yeah. So to be to live in Kuwait, you have to be either is you have to be born Kuwaiti or you have to have a job here. Like you have to be You must have yeah, a job, yeah. business. There's no jobless people here. Yeah. No homeless people. <laughs> no. So um Salah is here on his business, and you have to make a certain amount of money a month too. You can't just say, Oh, I have a business, but I'm not contributing, I don't have any money. Your your business, you have to be making a certain amount of money to stay here. And that's where she comes in. Interesting. They're kind of describing their little hustle right now without telling us that they're describing their hustle. So he can sponsor her. He just needs a business, which he's part owner of now with the friend and obviously a Kuwaiti because we saw the rules about owning a business in Kuwait. Has to be 51% owned by a Kuwaiti. Fine. What's missing from the equation of this bootleg perfume company? The money. And there she comes with her YouTube income to contribute the missing funds. And suddenly he'd be able to sponsor her. And he hopes that she'll be able to sponsor him. Interesting. <clears throat> so the fact that people are saying, no, well, he has no money. He's using her, blah, blah, blah. You, a simple search would show you that he, you have to make a revenue. Um, I have so, my own money and my own business and I sponsor you, not you. Yeah, so, for a little while, guys, because honestly, it's going to be good for me because honestly, uh, because Kuwait, there's, no <coughs> there's no taxes. And like, the thing is, is yes, you're supposed to pay your taxes, but like, look at it this way. Okay. Look at it this way. Let's say you make a million dollars. You are giving your tax like 51% on your million dollars. That's your hard earned money going to the government for like mediocre healthcare. Like for, you know what I mean? Like, the healthcare here is it's pretty much free, right? We don't have to pay very much here. About tax? For healthcare. Healthcare? Uh, few, few money. Yeah, it's not very mm. expensive. Well, just like Canada. So so few. No tax, no income tax. If you're gonna tax people, fine, but don't do it 50% of their income. Like what? 
you know so it's like yeah like tax debt is a problem and while i'm regulating it living in another country for you know a few couple of years or a few years or whatever will allow it allow me to catch up and allow you know allow us to do things here in a different environment how will that allow you to catch up she's acting as if the taxes won't keep increasing to canada while she's in kuwait she still has to pay canadian taxes i don't think she understands that she thinks she'll be able to catch up because what there there won't be taxes to pay this year there there absolutely are environment so <clears throat> that's the plan you know can you add some color to the wall so the thing is um we don't like muslims don't typically we have some decorations you guys will see in our apartment reveal but they don't typically like if you look at homes like they have like some paintings and things but they don't like it's not very ornate it's just very basic i think a lot of the time so but we did get a few well you got a few things when i was in canada so <clears throat> should have stolen their water your little girls wear hijabs no you, you're not required to wear a hijab until you reach puberty um we're gonna show them the apartment after the, the upgrade uh lately yes shall i yeah i appreciate all the hard work and everything <coughs> i did like to make it more cozy here for me and for us and just yeah. uh he put down a fucking floor mat a shoe mat and a carpet <laughs> yeah i love our place it's uh, it's ours it's, it's cozy it's it's affordable it's you know it's everything it's awesome yeah same thing in morocco everything is very ornately decorated beautiful um I think what she's talking about is like things, let's say, hanging on walls. Okay, so there's like religious art, you know? If you, like if you've seen it, you you know, like like Quranic scripture sort of made into art and things like that. It's beautiful. You can get really, really nice stuff, but that tends to be like the art that hangs on the wall in people's homes, if that's what she's talking about, but not actual like uh paint being haram, you know. Right. Alhamdulillah that you like it. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> any any effort, like if you the, the point for me is the effort you put in, the thought you put in. Like I've never had somebody think of me this way, like be concerned about my well being, you know, like it feels like family, like um, you know, like like somebody should do. Like uh if you if, if, if I feel sick, he'll massage my head or you know, like just stuff like this. The sixth sense. Aww. <clears throat> Not exercising during the day is gonna be a weird change for you. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. point. Got to keep it light in case you need to fly by night, huh? Yes, it is. That's a big filler meal for sure. Maybe Kuwait Falafel will sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> Kuwait Falafels. It's not lecturing us on things. No, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> yeah, Crystal, I still have to pay off my, my debts, of course, but I can do that from here. Yeah. Donna Price, uh, this is nothing to do with you, sir. Lord, so move on. Yeah, <laughs> Donna, that's very generous. Thank you. You know, okay. So like the outside uh, or the, in the other countries, it would be more expensive. Here is fixed price forever, mm. just to save money. Uh, you know. So, how much is falafel then? What's the one hundred dollars for one sandwich? For one sandwich with the French fries and salad with tahini, hummus, everything. Wow. So one hundred fills. Wait, I'll tell you. One hundred fills for a falafel sandwich. In Canadian dollars, um, forty-four cents. Forty-four cents. Yeah, only. Do you know how no much one cares. I those little six falafels that I had uh, in Canada? $19 I came out to you with the drink. Here, 100 pieces of falafel, <laughs> only 4.4 Canadian dollars. Who the fuck is buying 100 falafel balls? That seems excessive, even with Chantal there. I'm never going home. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> I'm never going back. No kidding. Donna Price, you're so welcome, my dear Ansala. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, Chuck Sandik, that's awesome. A plus, the prince of a falafel sandwich has not changed in Kuwait for more than 40 years. 100 plus, inflation may drive up the cost of a burger and fries, the price for a shawarma sandwich, and hummus bowl. We were just talking about the price of shawarma going up. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, it's going up, really. But the uh, price of falafel, it's, you know, it's by, uh, it's ruled from the, the, prince. the prince of Kuwait. That falafel Will is... Will not be changed. That's so nice. <laughs> Oh, that's the most random thing I've ever heard in my life. The price of falafel is dictated by the Prince of Kuwait, and it will never increase in price, and that's why they only pay 44 cents for it. Okay. 
Who cares? Well, you know, falafels, I like falafel more than shawarma, personally. And it's so delicious. It's also. so delicious. Oh. It comes, it's on a little bread, and the bread, uh, mm -hmm. the bread that in Canada, you get like a, a bagged piece. Paralyzing. In Kuwait, do they have the problem of shopkeepers raising prices during Ramadan? Do us. No one cares! 150K a year. So imagine 150K taxed at what? 30, 30 something percent. You would have all your money for free. I don't know. <clears throat> Americans have to pay taxes and they don't get free health care. They don't have universal health care. So you're paying almost the same amount of tax in America as in Canada, right? 37%. No, no, no. Most Americans pay a shit ton less taxes than Canadians do. Wow. Living in California. Oh, Angela. Yeah, I can imagine. Food economics. Other than Salah, what are you glad you are back to in Kuwait? Honestly, I'm just happy like as a muslim to be in a country that's um halal <laughs> i don't have to worry about oh looking up somewhere if this is um halal or not everything halal here. yeah anyone that brings anything not halal uh, the restaurant will be closed and you'll be uh, fined a lot of money yeah and maybe he will be in the if you have to tax people tax people but don't tax them 51 <clears throat> yeah. percent. yeah easy not easy. on friday like last week i think salah missed you yeah okay of course <laughs> <laughs> we do something robot <clears throat> okay donna well you know what bless you for your work i hope nobody throws up on you today <laughs> thanks for joining i'm gonna be Moran's next wife for healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always thirst over him don't you <laughs> no he has Moran has a lovely wife and family <laughs> no, no jelly for me yeah, I don't Talk something. <laughs> oh, <love> the name. <laughs> what does this mean <laughs> When I uh, when I saw a FG video, I went to puke. <laughs> when I look, yeah, when I hear her voice, it it's was disgusting. It was we were watching Yo Mama, mm. and then he was reviewing yeah, something, yeah, and she, your mama he, get, he gets in such stream. a he literally got out of bed and went to the bathroom. <laughs> he was like, I can't listen, I can't. Your voice so disgusting, really. <laughs> I can't imagine how the people around her like they hear the voice <laughs> normally in the normal day. I don't know what it is, the, the relation between being a Marlboro representative and uh, being hateful, but there's a correlation for sure. I don't know. So let me just set the scene. So they're apparently in bed <clears throat> together, if you believe that. And they start listening to one of my videos because that's what they do when they're in bed. And uh, Salad Boy has to get up and go in <laughs> to the bathroom. Were you rubbing one out, Salad? <laughs> Do you like the smoky voice? Do you like the fact that I can speak quickly? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. But I see you. You're both fucking weird and you both like me too much. She smokes way too much. Oh my God. So <laughs> I kind of request nobody pray for me. But here's the thing. Like, honestly, obviously, you know, he's going to feel a way when you hear people talk bad about your, you know, your, your wife or whatever. It's like, but yeah. Better get used to it, I guess. Oh, anyway, Alexandra, um, thank you for the super chat. Please. It will soon, Chantal. I have good rest and wonderful day both. Yeah, you too, mistress, you too. And we, I will have a video. No, 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 no. Who said thruple arc? Excuse me. I don't make anybody. Citizenships, that's number one. And I like men, not robots. Hmm? That's number two. Oh, on the couple's channel later. And not Edited. ones that are 10 years younger and unemployed. What what am I going to do with that? You, you bum, go get a job. Tiffy. Oh my gosh. You guys, you're sorry. Advanced Beezer. I feel the same, Salah. Angela, oh my God, Salah. Liz, I agree, Salah. <laughs> I could be the, the next DD. The problem is I like it the least. Yeah, she's insane. <laughs> Even uh, her laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah! like uh, what's your love? Oh, no! <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Shit. So disgusting, racist, shitty lady. So disgusting, shitty, racist lady. Who's racist? Salad, Patricia Thomas. Look at you, fully enveloped in bitch drama. Look at you. Keep going. Keep going, Salad. 
The guy with the goofy ass face and the goofy ass laugh is commenting on my laugh. I love that. <laughs> Really, I mean, FG, you are so disgusting, really. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, you're going to watch this because you're a biggest fan of your queen. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's true. It's so I think I must be the only one here who doesn't watch any of the reaction channels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so thank you for the super chat. Oh, you're better off, Adelaide. Can we go to Cairo? I've been to Egypt already, eh? Let's go to Beirut, Habib T. <laughs> Yalla. <laughs> I don't think you made the power balls. I did. <laughs> Actually, they're really easy to make. <laughs> no function. Oh, the cursing in my innocent ears. She sounds possessed by demons. Yeah, she is for sure. She's possessed by jinns and jinns. <laughs> Stay on your spiritual path. Yeah, I try. Oh, how I try to be virtuous. And it's not easy. It's not easy being attacked all the time, guys. That's all I can say. But... <sighs> I guess, you know, I have to just keep considering the source. Who we'll upload the curse words expansion? <laughs> Those gin YouTuber videos, I know. Dates have 26 grams of sugar. I don't think we need that. Yeah, but they're good for you. They're in the Quran. They're healthy, you know. Dates is what you're supposed to eat after a hard day of Ramadan and, hmm, and fasting. It's what you break the fast with traditionally. It's the sugar does you some good after a day of fasting. You don't need them now, but that's what people do. Oh, book. Okay, so <clears throat> no, they don't have block magic here. Any magic is have um dates make you. Yeah, they write, they're full of fiber too. So the fiber kind of like makes the sugar digest more slowly. Uh, Olga, thank you for the super chat. I hope you're feeling better soon, girl. She definitely is in my life. She's <laughs> I believe it's people who I laughed so hard when he called me Shitana because fun fact that used to be my nickname and I'm not kidding him calling me Shitana it just it made me smile it made me laugh it brought me back to a younger age while I was the Shitana your wife is the Dijel hmm? and no I don't mean Dijel because she's masculine like the Dijel Hmm? The Dijel. I don't mean that in the like the Antichrist way. I'm not religious like that. I mean that in the uh, tra 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 translation, the deceiver. <laughs> so why don't you shut up, Hamar? Who are here to test you? So you know, people who want to break your character in any way they can. So my test is to, you know, just really try to avoid reacting. <clears throat> one date a day to break your fast yes yeah coffee first fg zero femininity mm. zero salad <laughs> patricia thomas <laughs> look at your fake wife sitting next to you on the couch and talk to me about zero femininity again okay <laughs> it's not my fault or problem that your fingers are daintier than mine maybe if you worked with your hands you would have a little muscle on them too <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how you like um, insane or something like this. <laughs> okay, I'm insane. <laughs> Again, you're a fucking idiot. Listen, listen, guy sitting there trying to buy your way into Canada. You're so pathetic. Look at what you're willing to fake marry and you have the audacity. Patricia Thomas, shut your face. Just sit there, okay? Moderate the chat. Perlock Holmes, thank you for the super chat. A lazy hijabi, because sometimes I just wear this under cap and that's it. <laughs> I don't bother putting another hijab on. Mushkila? You're so sweet and perfect, always. Aww. I love you so much. Aww. I love you most. I win. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to beat you next time. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, we've now established tonight he fucking rubbed one out to me. I mean, he had to get up and go to the bathroom. I get it. Oh. <laughs> what do you call it in English? It's the same. Satan. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, S-A-T-A-N. Yeah. Satan. Satan. Yeah. Satan. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Satan. That's stuff that vegans eat. Yeah. <laughs> Only Chantal, only Chantal would take Satan and have to turn it into food. 
Get totally up. fit on your FG. <laughs> you are Satan. Yes. Shaitan in Arabic. Can you imagine being sent in? Shukran Bizaf. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Again, that was my nickname. Don't wear it out, you fucking Patricia Thomas bitch. To, sentenced to hell and having to see her mouth for that forever going eh. disgusting how the way she talk and scream and you the voice dba is so loud and her laughing is shit so like a witch <laughs> her face so ugly nothing nothing <clears throat> she is just, she just she sounds like she smokes five bags of red cigarettes every day she's garbage <laughs> God, God. Literally everything he just said, except for the smoker's voice, could apply to his fucking fake wife sitting next to him on the couch. Just saying. Garbage bin. <laughs> Garbage bin. Get a blue scarf to match your living room. <laughs> Angela. Real blue. Oh my gosh. I seen, I saw these kneecaps that were made out of gold chains and they looked so cool. Cool. Where do they, they wear those here? Yes. Really? Kneecap pilots. I want to get one. <laughs> I don't want to have to school you on gender construct, so please stop with the low hanging fruit. At least we both agree it's low hanging. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit funny. Damn, Salah, don't bully her. <laughs> get here, get here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, but she has it coming. Okay. He's recruiting the hallway kids. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> the Ethans of Kuwait. Oh boy. Okay. Um. I'm not feeling too well now, actually. I'm feeling kind of, see, like, I, when I'm sick, I just get exhausted more quickly than usual, which is pretty bad. So. Ava says, FFG sells her soul for a super chat. She won't even talk to any of her subscribers unless they give her a super chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're all like, here, take my money that I don't have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They're so fucking mad. It's it's just about like the views and shit. It's really not even deeper than that. Salad, stay boring and stay mad. If you weren't such a robot, maybe y'all would have been able to do something with your couple's channel, but you're god awful. That's not my fault. Stay mad, stay jealous. Patricia Thomas is butt hurt over there with his boobs in his fucking shirt. Fuck <laughs> I love it. I love this the most. Okay, salad. You are literally the most boring thing that has ever happened in Shantopolis. Just shut the hell up. <clears throat> Do a green screen in front of motels. Zombies, morons. Give her more money. Yeah, I know. She fooled you all, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, people. <laughs> he has the best laugh. I know. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and this goofy ass motherfucker had the nerve to talk about my laugh wow wow that's really something else charity mcpherson thank you for the super chat girl mm. <laughs> <clears throat> i'm gonna pinch you so hard a retro react no more animal slaughters the flailing legs <laughs> was the food chicken you know why because when you kill a chicken it still flails around for like ever that that is disturbing i find yeah or do you ever see those chefs who cook like they make frog legs and their legs? Oh, I can't even talk about it. It makes me sick. Oh, Ugh, when things are still moving, yeah. Some people eat things alive. That's gross. Salah's a mini boss. He sounds like an evil, yeah. <laughs> New celeb crush unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> and he does, he's so cute. You do this thing, like you kind of wink whenever you laugh. Ah. Oh my god, you got it too. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. She accused me earlier in this stream of like, oh my god, maybe she pinched BBJ. And now she's talking about pinching and he's pinching her and stuff. I think you're projecting. I think you maybe are the one who pinched the cat. You know, between the time when your crackhead non-ex-boyfriend was kicking the cat. Oh, your hands are cold, please. Oh, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> that feels so nice. Okay. Yes. Better now? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Ew, he plus. Okay, he also. Yes, feel oh, can't you just feel the chemistry? I, I can just feel it right through the screen. It's like a cousin who can't stand your guts or something. You know what I mean? So nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, where's the words? <laughs> Angela said, oh my God, pinch her harder. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm suing you for making me watch that. So, uh, anemia. Didn't have to. Bees. Anemia bees. Anemia bees. I think I have anemia. Oh my god, no! No, no, 
Katie. No. Thank you for the super chat. Goofy and Scuba Steve. <laughs> Scuba Steve. <laughs> that is fucking perfect. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think I'd have like a flu or something. Scuba it's a lot Steve touching you, but I hate you. It's like, how do these people even know they don't live in our bedroom? You know what I mean? Like, they have no idea what goes these on. These people are nuts. <laughs> They're projecting. Brainless people. I mean, they're just projecting, like people like Sarah Plain. Can you imagine her going out on a date? Oh, yeah, I'll get the calm salad. Uh, let's talk about <laughs> Scotty Beauty. Um, uh, I am here, sorry. Oh my God, all they do is watch Jim Carrey movies and reaction channels. This is their whole, like, relationship. And then when Girl Gang comes on, he goes and rubs one out in the bathroom. Because he can't control himself. <laughs> this is all they do. Listen, he's now mocking Sarah Jane. You know how niche that is? I've never heard Sarah Jane's voice once in my whole damn life. This guy has heard it so many times. He is mocking Sarah Jane. Patricia Thomas, you fucking, you are so deeply immersed in the bitch drama. You are one. Mm -hmm. Presley, thank you for the super chat. Sarah Jane's and uh, Sarah Jane's. <laughs> um, let's talk about your beauty and uh, Salah. Uh, Arida, how about uh, what do you think about uh, what they do um, about uh, that? We use uh, thank you for the super chat. It's not a bro, it's a man's zia. <laughs> mm. Oh, so they are making a tour on uh, the street of Kuwait. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're going for a drive, and oh my god, you can tell he doesn't touch her. Farida, <laughs> Farida, exactly typical on FFG. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect version. <laughs> yeah, loud mouth, hot bag of bag of hot air. Anyway, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> A plus Salah is Salah is on one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect impersonation. Until Omega um, Salah is full of it tonight. <laughs> Farida is annoying as fuck. <laughs> get some rest yeah this is so embarrassing they're like they're not even high if they were high you could be like okay well the guy's like never smoked weed before he's getting wrecked she hadn't smoked in a while she's getting wrecked this is no weed this is just fucking kuwaiti beavis and butthead Salah imitate uh Blah, 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 flattering with Jessica Misika while his wife in the bed. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, I'm now in the car, uh, just waiting, going to the, my work. My work, uh, going in the morning to, uh, you know. Uh, my, wife is, my wife is sleeping. I cannot talk right now. So <laughs> when she wake up, I can call you and talk with you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's true. It's so weird. Oh, I can't stand people. Anyways, I hate you all. Goodbye. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my community. god. That's this what is I said. Awful. I was so fed up. I didn't think you really would. <laughs> this sounds like confirmed. <clears throat> and you know what else is really good at the Burger King here? The mushroom melt burger. Fuck the off with the Burger King menu. No one cares. Does it repel the FFG demon? Yes. <laughs> It's uh, a demon repellent. Vans Visa Salah is a year older than my man and our queen, and I are the same age. Okay. Uh, it's mean I am older than her man with one year. Difference. So it's like evening for you guys, and here it's like morning. Iceman, hydrating. Okay, that's more than enough. I, I've had it. Uh, so we're at the end. We've now skipped ahead to the end. Food, 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 food. Talking about salad, salad either in the chat or I fucking himself in the viewfinder thing. That's fine. Viewfinder in her cell phone. What am I talking about? <sighs> okay. Patricia Thomas tonight has entered the chat. The way I see it, salad now, fair game. <laughs> Whatever I want to say about salad, absolutely fair game. If you want to be in the bitch drama, like I said, marhaba. I never went too hard about salad before. He bores me. There's not much to say, you know, but I could have more to say. <laughs> You're in it now, salad boy, <laughs> Patricia. 
I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, the, the lime jello. He is showing us what a perfect example is of a Muslim man. Thank you, Salah. Not only that, a newlywed with a newly converted bride hmm, who he should be showing, ushering, let's say, into the new religion and showing all the positives and kind of being, you know, the ideal, like, um, example for her. And this is what he's doing. It's like I said at the beginning, we've come a long way from him kicking her under the camera because she said ass. You remember that at the beginning? I remember that. He's now literally sitting there actively participating in the bitch drama. That's fine. I love a new participant, me. <laughs> Aisha is her mentor. Is that it? How tragic for her. Ugh. All right. All right. Tonight was fun. Um, <laughs> He's batshit crazy, just like her. And he really, really enjoys this. Really enjoys the drama. I love that for him. She again confirms today that she regrets not being able to put down BBJ. <laughs> that she would rather have again put down BBJ rather than give her to me, even though she didn't. Good to know you're still just doubling down on that one again, you fucking moron. And again, that's the only reason that I cared about the chicken video. I don't give a damn about, not I don't give a damn about the chicken video, but again, as a meat eater, I'm not so naive. I know where it comes from. I don't mind seeing where it comes from. I think it was disgusting that she posted that up Considering the arc that we've just gone through with the cats. Presley, thank you again for the super chat. Chins, have you showered since been that Doubtful. Doubtful. We, we know her. That's why the whole ring thing was so unbelievable. You took the ring off to wash your hands. Girl, we know you, please. Girl Zen, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the stream, demon babe. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thank you, everybody, so, so much for being here. Appreciate it. If you missed our Twitch stream this morning, it'll be posted up on this channel tomorrow, early in the day. Um, if you haven't already, the link that is pinned in our chat right now is the link to Shannon's channel. I will be live from Corn tomorrow with Shannon on her channel. It's going to be a good time. Y'all remember what happened last time? Uh, lunatic popped all the way off because apparently I'm not allowed to go to Corinth. So we're going back to Corinth. <laughs> it's going to be a great time. I hope to see you all there tomorrow. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evenings. Please be safe. Keep your masks on and I'll see you tomorrow on Shannon's channel. Bye guys.